this season already. So uh, we know that our secondary is in for a test today. Coach Kevin Porter and Coach Aaron James will be meeting for the first time. Uh, both head coaches at Tuskegee University and at Central State, respectively. Aaron James returns home, an outstanding, stellar Golden Tiger quarterback. He takes his first game, its debut, at home here in Tuskegee, Alabama. Ken, the Golden Tigers will kick it off uh, to the Central State Marauders. Kendrick, it's a beautiful day. It's a, a scenic day. Golden Tigers in their home crimson pants and crimson jerseys. Central State in their gold jerseys and gold pants. 73 degrees. It rained a little bit this morning, but as we always say, Booker T. Washington uh, waved his magic wand and made it a beautiful day for football. It's about 73 degrees, and the Marauders, correction, will kick it off to the Golden Tigers. They will kick it off, Frank. And, um, you know, I talked about Kendrick. We're speaking about the secondary, and Central State having a good passing attack. We got our secondary. We had um, Michael King, a native of Tuskegee, that um, had his first inception. He's, he's doing very well. And so it's also going to be a challenge for him. I'm looking at, looking forward as well to seeing the air attack. A absolutely. But our linebackers also did a great, great job on, inter on interception. We got two picks from our linebackers. So we, we're looking to definitely see some turnover. Jose Charles will get ready to kick it off for the Marauders of Central State. Back deep for the Golden Tigers. We'll give you those names momentarily. A beautiful day for football. It's a good crowd here in Tuskegee, Alabama. Kickoff is just a, a second away. Here's the kick. It's going to be a kick. It's going to be taken inside of the 18, the 20, the 25, the 30, inside of the 30, the 28-yard line. Uh, receiving that kickoff for the Golden Tigers was Chris Cedric Tail on that kickoff reception for the Golden Tigers. The Tigers will take it over first and 10. The ball will be marked inside of the 27 yard line. Ryan Nettles will get the start for the Golden Tigers. He's going to replace Bryson Williams, who's injured. Nettles, the transfer from Alabama State University, his first start. Uh, for the Golden Tigers. Here's Nettles, first snap of the ball game. Okay. It goes up to gut. The give the is sellers. to sellers. number 21 for the Golden Tigers. That's going to be Chase Sellers, Kendrick and Ken. Uh, on the carry, picks up about seven for the Tigers. I like that going with the quick huckle, quick huckle there. Got the plays calling, trying to get Central State uh, off balance there and keep that ball moving. Nettles has receivers either side. Second down and five for the Tigers. Here's Nettles. Nettles, play action. Nettles, drop, drop back. Throws long. It's going to be incomplete. Intended receiver uh, for the Golden Tigers. A young man is Noah Hart. Uh, Kendrick and Ken and Hart uh, couldn't get a handle on that football. Nettles' first pass of this contest. But also, they had some pre good pressure. Central State front four put some pressure on him. He had to rush that pass. That, that was another reason that he wasn't able to set and get a good delivery on it. But we definitely will see that play again because he he, he, had, he had some um, space in between. What do you think, Kendrick? Yeah, that, most, most definitely. And, you know, um, that front seven for Central State, um, just want to see how offensive line holds up, you know, against them. Um, they did a good job last week against uh, Kentucky State. So I know they also – Here's the play. Nettles fires it out inside the 20. Gets inside of the – crosses midfield. <laughs> and he's going to be – Yes, sir. Out of bounds. That's going to be – Karen Taylor, number Avon seven. Taylor. Uh, gets up a goal, picks up a Golden Tiger first down, Kendrick, and Golden Tigers are going to that air attack you mentioned earlier. 14.05 in the first. That play good for 40, about 36 yards. Here's Nettles, first and 10 from the Marauders 42-yard line. Nettles to give is again to number seven. Kron Taylor Taylor's 5 970 pound sophomore from Claxton Georgia went to came from Kentucky Christian looks like a transfer Nettles in his first start the transfer 
from Alabama State University. Has receivers either side, one man in the slot. Here's the play. Nettles sets up, wants to throw, has a man. Oh, throws it out of bounds. That was a busted play, guys. It looked like nobody was home, Kendrick. Yeah. Miscommunication between the wide receiver and the quarterback. That, that's definitely going to have to go to the chalkboard on that one from up top and get that communication together. Well, it's looking good, but I like the idea that they're trying to do a quick huddle and keep the ball moving. Get something, get some consistency going, but they are moving down the field. And it's third and 10. Let's see what they got for us. Two receivers to the far side, one man to the near side. Sellers is the back. Nettles calls the signals for the Tigers. Here's Nettles. Nettles drops back, has time, sets up, has a man open, and it's going to be caught inside of the 34 yard line. And that's going to be good enough for a Golden Tiger first down, guys. Short, yeah, like it's going to be short. short. No, it's going to. I'm sorry, it's going to be short. Correction that will be short. It's going to be fourth down and two. And Aaron James decides to go for it, has confidence in his Tigers. Fourth like down and two. See, Nettles. Get, him, get a hard count in there, get a hard count, get him jump outside and get that first down. I like Nettles when he. Make that set, jump into the hands, get a tight end motion. Nettles calls audible. Here's Nettles. Gives it to Sellers. Sellers turns it up. He oh, won't no, get no. it. He won't get it. He's going to be short, and the Golden Tigers guys are going to turn it over. Coach Aaron James decided to go for it on fourth down, and the Marauders were able to sustain the Tigers. It's going to be first and 10 for the Marauders from their own 34-yard line. I really like I really like that. Hey, setting the temple. Hey, go hard or go home. And that's what the Golden Tigers been doing. They've been winning good games and, and making plays. So it was I, I really go with Aaron James on that call. Chaz Hunter will call the signals for the Marauders first and ten from the 35-yard line of Central State. His honor sets up, wants to throw, has a man open. It's caught inside of the 44-yard line. Good for a Marauders first down and Central State is coming out, Ken and Kendrick, uh, throwing the football. No huddle offense. That's an aerial attack. That's an aerial attack, and that's uh, Zelly Eldridge, DB, on the coverage. Got to get the head around. First and 10 for the Marauders from the 45-yard line. Lewis calling the signals for Central State. Has two receivers either side. Lewis sets up, wants to throw. It's going to be caught inside of the 26 yard line and that's going to be good for marauders first down guys central state kevin porter's offense is exploding here against the tigers guys yeah those big guys up front they're they're giving him time to go through his progression first and 10 from the 27 of the tigers sets up wants to throw it's going to be caught inside and there's another Reception, it's going to be close to a first down, not close enough. Central State runs that no huddle. I like the defense, defense line. We got some pressure on that quarterback. First and 10 from the 17. Here's a quick out to the left side. He yeah, spins baby. around, Golden Tigers defended, but he gets down to the 17 yard line, picks up maybe a yard or gets back to the line of scrimmage. Frank, I love it when you, you get outside the numbers. You got a game tackle of four to five guys putting the helmets on, on the guy. That, that's great hustle, great effort. And that's the um, Tuskegee defense been known for that with Coach Powell doing that with them linebackers getting there and making that guy pay for each yard he get. Alec Lewis, the transfer from the University of, of Northern Colorado, calls the signals for the Marauders. Lewis sets up, wants a throw, has a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Central State. And just like that, Central State winds it down. Brandon Brock, guys, catches that pass for the first touchdown for the Marauders. Yes, indeed. And that was, that was number 19, Rosie Grimes, on the, on the coverage on that. He, he's, a, he's a rookie. He's a freshman. Um, he just learned something that day. He got schooled definitely by Central State. But oh. he's a guy that always could come back and make some good plays. Jose Charles for the PAT. It's up and it's good. Central State, ahead of the Tigers in this ball game, came out with an exploding offense. They lead the Tigers seven nothing with eleven twenty six in the first, guys. 
feel like we are seen and we belong. How to get the most of Grammarly free. It's Kayla on behalf of Grammarly to tell you all about the free version of the best communication assistant in the world. Millions have chosen to go beyond. Move the ball on both those teams, you know, through the air very well. Losses to uh, Dayton and Mississippi Valley, as Kendrick indicated, they are very thirsty and very hungry for a win today against the Golden Tigers. With 11 minutes and 26 seconds in the first uh, quarter of this ball game, the Marauders have drawn first blood here against the Golden Tigers. We have a 7 nothing ball game here at Cleveland L. Abbott Memorial Stadium on the campus of Tuskegee University. Yes, and we set for another kickoff, and um, we're definitely going to see some, a little bit more execution and, and settle down, settle in there with Nettles being his first Here's game. a kick. It's going to be taken inside of the, the 15, inside the 20, the 25, and brought down around the 31-yard line for the Golden Tigers. Great kickoff return by the Golden Tigers on the receiving end for the Golden Tigers with Cedric Tail. Uh, he's out of Park Crossing High School out of Montgomery, Alabama. Abraham Daniels on the tackle for the Marauders. Da Daniels is a uh, gets the credit for the tackle for the Golden Tigers. Ryan Nettles in his first start, Kendrick and Ken for the Tigers. Nettles will have it first and ten. He'll have it from its own twenty-nine yard line. Seven nothing is your score. Here's Nettles flips it out to the left side. Picks up maybe four on that play. On the receiving end for the Golden Tigers. <laughs> yes, indeed. I like the little um, little energy, extra energy over there. But it's good. It was good, clean play. Uh, no unnecessary roughness. Um, but you can definitely see that it's going to be a physical game all day today, especially with um, Marquez Cowens gets that catch for the Tigers. Second down and seven. That play picked up three. Here's Nettles. Nettles sets up. Wants to throw. Has a man open. It's going to be. Good for a Golden Tiger first down. He goes to one of his favorite targets, guys. Meeks. Antonio Meeks. Oh, Meeks. Has Great had guy. an He's exciting season. season. Yes, indeed, Frank. Golden Martin. Tigers will have it first and 10 from their own 33. Nettles trips to the near side. One receiver to the right. Nettles on a long count. Fires it out. Has a man open, and it's going to be caught. Inside for a loss there, but there's a flag on the field. That's Keon Webb. We hadn't seen him in a while. He's, this is his senior year out of Latonia, Georgia. And he, he's been a guy that uh, makes a couple good plays. And, then, and that one was a quick, but that was a great second effort by. And that's going to be a first down. Golden Tiger first down. Give us a recap on that, Kendrick. Yeah, we you know we tried to hit uh, Ken Webb out in the flats and um, Tim State played that really well. Um, flag on the play. And yeah, that's good for a Golden Tiger first down. It's going to move it to the 49 yard line of the Marauders. First and ten. Nettles has trips to the right. Nettles gives it up the gut. The give is uh, stopped by a host of. Uh, of yellow jerseys, gold jerseys, rather. And uh, Central State guys made those defensive adjustments and stopped that run. That's one of the things Central State wanted to uh, keen in on this week. Um, they've been able to be uh, run on in the past two games um, and seeing how the Tigers ran the ball last week. Zeno Melbourne on the carry for the Tigers. Here's Nettles. Nettles sets up, throws it, caught inside of the 43-yard line. And Golden Tigers are finally, guys, getting that pass attack uh, effectively now. And that's definitely using uh, Keon Webb, um, number 83. He's a great guy, a senior year, and he's going to be a definitely an intricate part in this coming up as the game goes on. That play good for seven yards. It's going to bring up third down and three. The ball is on the 48-yard line. Well, let's see. They're going to mark it on the 43-yard line. Nettles has a man in motion. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Nettles runs, and he is going to be sacked 
with the football, and that's going to move the ball, guys, back. It's going to be back. It looks like, well, they'll get it back. Well, that's going to be back to the line of scrimmage. Well, the defense is going to come in, and Ryan Duff will have to punt it off for the Tigers. Central State will be uh, in punt receiving formation as Duff will punt it from his own 40-yard line. It looked like Nettles was quite ready for that snap. It was premature. Say Morrison is back deep, standing on his own eight-yard line for the Marauders. Rush, fair catch is called. <laughs> well, no. Great job. Great, great job. job. Golden Tigers on a great special team effort, guys. They'll mark it inside of the one-yard line, and Central State will have it first and ten. It will be marked on the one-yard line. On the one-yard line, yes. Now, Central State did a great job. Uh, that's coaching and discipline that you can see out there, Kendrick. Uh, with the guy, he, he stood on the eight-yard line to, to soon fair catch and see if you came to him, but they kept the eyes on the ball and played the ball, not the man. And that's what you do when you want to make a good play, and that was a great play by the special teams of Tuskegee to put them, pin them down back there. Alec Lewis will have his back against the wall. First and 10, the ball is on the one. Yard line of the Marauders in the end zone. Here's the, here he goes. Play is up to good, but they find a crease. Gets inside the 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, and he's brought down around the 41-yard line. That play good for 40 yards. First and 10, Marauders. First and 10 with that no-huddle offense. And Central State is exploding, guys, offensively. First you can and ten. Tell they came out. They came out to play some football out here. They, they um, catching um, Tuskegee. Tuskegee have to wake up and rise to the occasion. But we also play four quarters of football, so it's going to be a good game. It's definitely not over. It's not an easy win. Alec Lewis has it first and ten from the forty. Lewis play action, hands off. It gets nowhere. Nowhere to go as that Golden Tiger defense. Certainly rose to the occasion. Absolutely. I think with that that one play right there, they have surpassed their rushing yard total for their uh, past two games. That one, <laughs> with that one play. They, they did increase their stats here with 834. Marauders lead the Tigers 7-0. It's Hall of Fame weekend here in Tuskegee. Sunshine is peeping through the crowd. The clouds, rather. Second down and 11. For the Marauders, ball is on the 38-yard line of Central State. Lewis has two receivers to the near side. Oh, Bobbles the snap. Lewis throws on the run, and it's incomplete. He missed his target. Intended receiver was T.J. Gregory for Central State, and that's going to bring up third down, guys, and 11. And we had, we're probably going to see that play again by Central State because it, that was uh, the guy was definitely the corner. He had he had to step on the corner. If the ball was laid in the proper place, it could have been another disappointing thing for the, the Golden Tigers. So we got away with a, with a good one there. But hopefully the defense will pick that up and make sure. Lewis again. drops back, fires around, has a man open inside, gets inside, and he's going to go down around the 45-yard line. And that won't be good enough for – oh. Fourth down. Fourth down, and Central State will time. go into punt formation. Great defensive effort by the Golden Tigers. Fourth and six, as the Marauders will punt it off for the, to the Tigers. Deep back for Tuskegee. It's going to be Karon Taylor. Taylor will stand inside deep around the 20-yard line. Central State will punt it off from their own 30-yard line. 7-29, first quarter, 7 nothing ball game. Central State out front by seven. Here's a punt. Heavy rush by the Golden Tigers, and he's going to call fair catch. It's going to be first and 10 from the 22. Aaron Nettles. Nettles. Eric Nettles will operate first and 10, guys. They're going to mark it on the 21. Ryan Nettles. I'm sorry, Ryan Nettles. Get that Nettles together. Ryan Nettles is a quarterback. Got his first start transfer, guys, from Alabama State University. And, you know, talking about that history, uh, Alabama State has sent three quarterbacks over the last 10 or 15 years here to the Golden Tigers. And Nettles uh, certainly is one of those history makers. Hornets uh, uh, converted to a Golden Tiger, Kennedy, again. Yeah. Hey, 
Go ahead, go ahead, Kendrick. And and Nettles, you know, he gets his first start and is also celebrating his birthday on yesterday. How about that? What a what a birthday present! Happy birthday, Nettles. Nettles uh, comes uh, down on I sixty five. He from down in Greenville, I think. Is it Greenville? Yes. Always, yeah. He's a native of Butler County, Alabama, the home of another fine Golden Tiger quarterback, Hall of Famer Kenneth Crum, who I got a chance to talk to last night. Uh, at the Hall of Fame banquet. So uh, Nettles uh, comes in this uh, ball game, uh, gets his first start. Saw a little action last week against Kentucky State, and he'll direct the Golden Tiger offense. And Seven. Speaking, of, speaking of Hall of Fame, Frank, uh, also uh, Irvin Smith was a linebacker to play with me back in the day, came up behind me, um, and um, him and Irvin, Ir Irvin Smith and Red Harrison, was two of the native Tuskegeeans that well, would like to come in and, and we we'll have a little conversation with them later on today. Hopefully, if we have time. Well, it looks on. like we have some assessments against the Marauders. That's going to bring the ball back to the they'll mark it inside of the the thirty six yard line. It'll be first and ten for Ryan Nettles and company. Here's Nettles. Nettles gives it up to gut again. First man through, and it'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That, that was a good, great call by the defensive coordinator for Central State. That was that weak side backer position I used to play a lot, where you, you come you come free from the backside and catch them in the backfield. It's, um, it's a straight handoff up the middle, but that outside backer was able to penetrate and get behind the line of scrimmage. Chase Sellers gets it back to the line of scrimmage. Actually, it's going to be a two-yard loss, second down and two. They're going to mark it on the 35-yard line. Second and 12, ball on the 35. Nettles in the shotgun. Play action. Nettles drops back. Throws long. That's going to be caught. Oh, yeah, baby. Inside. First tough. down. Inside of the 29-yard line. And that's that Mr. Excitement, Antonio Meeks, Ken and Kendrick. So, so Tom Meeks, a, a big-time playmaker, a big-time playmaker for the Tigers. And we look for him to come up big. He also did a great, great, great play like this. He went deep against um, Fort Valley in the home opener. Back to live action. Meeks gets a big first down catch for the Tigers. Brings the ball on the Central State 37 yard line. 601 in the first 7 0 ball game. Golden Tigers with the football. Nettles drops back, sets up, wants to oh, throw oh, long. Oh, and it's. Back. Meeks thought he had an interference call where there was an exchange between the defensive back, Montego Johnson, and Meeks inside of the red zone, but the officials didn't merit a call, guys. <laughs> yes, it was, that was pretty close there, Frank. Let's bring up second down and 10. The ball is on the Tigers' 32-yard line, 550 in the first, and Golden Tigers trying to get that Offensive machine tuned up in the debut opener, the home opener for first year coach Aaron James. Here's the play, sets up. Nettles is going to be sacked. Give the Marauders credit. Dominique Davis uh, blitzed in, Ken, and uh, dropped Nettles down. It's going to bring up third down and 10 the ball is still going to be marked uh will they'll mark it uh, inside of the 40 42 yard line we definitely got to make some adjustments to get, get that backside backer coming out of there because he's getting a clean passage way through the backfield in the secondary third we'll down put it back over there to slow him up just a little bit frank but that, that's one of the adjustments that guys make here tuskegee always made some great adjustments because we always score like 30 something points in the, in the game so it's not over. Here's a play. Nettles sets up, wants to throw. Caught by Meeks. And Meeks gets it down to the 30. And I tell you, what did you say earlier? What did you call him? Showtime Meeks. Let's, 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 look, let's look at that replay. Great protection. That's going to bring in the punting team. I'm sorry, field goal team. I got a good spotter over there. It's field goal team. I, I, I can definitely see a difference in the offensive line gelling together and giving a little protection 
so Nevels can be sitting there in position and, and get a nice throw off. There's a couple of the first series he had he had a couple of passes he had to rush real quickly, and now he's able to sit there and see his guys. Larkin Ryan gets it off, and there's a whistle. It'll be off and not. He'll have another opportunity. And Ryan's had an exciting week last week in Kentucky. The freshman from Ireland. And it's been a long time. And I can't recall in modern day times we've had a, uh, a player to come from out of the United States. But Larkin Ryan says have made history here, made himself well known here at Tuskegee. And that's going to change the situation back to what I said previously. It's going to move the Tigers back and will be in punt formation. Hopefully we can penalty deep again. Ryan Duff will be punting from his own 46-yard line. Deep back for the Marauders is going to be Kismar Dina. Dina will stand inside of the 15-yard line around the 10. Ryan Duff has had an exciting year this year punting the ball for the Tigers. Here's Duff. Duff gets it off. Nice Pooches height. It. Look at the height. Nice height. Nice. And there you go. Back to where we started again. Oh. There was a collision back then and a little misdirection uh, by the Tigers. It was almost back to the one, but that misdirection will move it out, guys. And I'm sure that there's a lot of disappointment on that, on that misdirection play in the end zone. It'll be first and ten. For the Marauders from the twenty-yard line, let's look at let's look at that replay. Well, we won't have time, but we'll keep it here at live action. Four oh six, Marauder six, Golden Tigers zero. First and ten uh, for the Marauders. Ball is on the twenty-yard line of of Central State. Alec Lewis calls the signals. Lewis gives to number five, and it's in and out. Gets nowhere. Gets nowhere. Number five. Kismardina, the carrier for Central State. And the Golden Tigers, Ken and Kendrick, adjusted well defensively. And that was the same play they busted for the uh, history, the longest run there, Kendrick. They tried it again, and, and it was no dice going on that game right there. You know, you can get me once, but you can't get me twice. That's a good good um, recollection in playing Lewis football. Lewis drops back, has time. Oh, yes. The nowhere, nowhere. Nowhere to go. Great read by the defense. A little shuffle pass there. And Golden Tiger defense guy said nowhere to go. Definitely stiffening up right here, you know, reading your cues. Exactly. And, and that's what I love about it. Um, defense corner have been doing a great job getting these guys playing some heads up football. Third Start down and nine. Third, down and 12. Third and 12. Ball on the 18. That played good uh, for a loss for the Tigers. Here's a play. Sets up, wants to throw, has time, throws it. It's going to be caught inside in Central State. Has picked up another first down, number four, Brandon Brock. On a Lewis pass, guys, and the Marauders are making things happen offensively. Let's look at the replay. Back to live action. Golden Tiger defense holds them on that play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's going to bring up second down and 10. Nowhere to go on that play. Great stop defensively by the Tigers. 225 in the first. 7 nothing ball game. Maradas with the football. Alec Lewis has twin receivers either side. Here's Lewis. Drops back. Play action. Lewis fakes it once. He Got gets him, caught. Got him. And he's going to be okay. sacked back the helmet comes in off. the 39-yard line. And he'll lose. <laughs> oh, And he got he's got to come out of the ball game. Yes, he does. Lost his helmet, and he's got to come out. Minute 52, great defensive effort by the Tigers. Back in the ball game is Kendall Boney. He'll place, he'll replace Lewis because he lost his helmet. Third down and 13 for the Marauders. Twin receivers either side. New quarterback of the ball game for Central State, Kendall Boney. Boney will have it third and 13 on the 40-yard line. Here's Boney. Boney almost oh. snapped over his head. He's going to call his own number, and Boney takes that high snap, and he gets it down to the 48-yard line. And the Marauders, guys, are going to have to punt it off to the Tigers. Good stand by the Golden Tiger defense on there. 
Uh, one of the things about the quarterback uh, situation for Central State, they have three, you know, capable quarterbacks. So even with um, Lewis coming out, uh, they have Kyles and they have Boney, you know, uh, all three. I heard Porter early in the year talk about, you know, he has faith in all three as quarterback. Montego Johnson will punt it off for the Central State Marauders. Karon Taylor will stand inside of his own 11-yard line. Heavy rush by the Tigers. Taylor takes it inside the 25. The 26 to 25 to 30, and Karon Taylor gets it to the 38 yard line. He'll operate first and 10 from the 38. Nettles will for the Golden Tigers. Great return uh, by Taylor, guys. Great return. Great, great heads up. Uh, I like this quickness. I like the explosion of him. He definitely make a move. And here you go on the replay there. He's running north and south. You got to love him. Running north and south. Get what you can while you can and tuck that ball in. Great play. Good consistency. First and 10 for the Golden Tigers from the 33-yard line of Tuskegee. Twin receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Here's Nettles calling audible. Had a man in motion. That's going to be for the Golden Tigers. Noah Hart was in motion. And looks like that's going to be, guys, Procedure call, five yards, stepped off against Tuskegee. Those mental yes. mistakes that uh, normally are eliminated uh, at this point in the season, but they happen occasionally. Yes, they, they, they do happen occasionally, Frank. And, um, but, you know, Tuskegee's been known to make plays. Here we Here's go. Nettles. Nettles gives it again up the gut. Great run play. Gets inside of the 35-yard line for the Tigers. Okay, it's going to be number 23. Zena Mountain for Tuskegee. And uh, on the tackle for the Marauders is going to be um, Noah for Central State. I like the manure, the 23 um, mobile. He he, he um, switched that ball over when he seen Predator on um, the tackler coming to his way and tucked it in to make sure he could secure the ball. Here's Nettles. Nettles, quarterback keeper, throws out long, has a man open on the last minute. He's going to pick up a first down. Great heads up. Noah play. Great heads Hart up play. You got to love it. Picks up a first down. You know, it was only four seconds on the clock before that play. Let's look at the replay, guys. You got to love this read by Nettles. Made him commit, threw it to him. He bit. Made him, he, <laughs> he bit off. He bit. It, it, it was definitely a replay. If he just stayed out there, he, Nettles could have turned it up and got the yardage. But as soon as he came at Nettles, Nettles did a nice play of adjusting and get the nice stroke, a great stroke that was steady and consistent. At the end of the first quarter, it's been scoreless for the Golden Tigers. Marauders have uh, generated seven points, seven nothing ball game here from Cleveland, L. Abbott Memorial Stadium on the campus of Tuskegee University. Let's pause. This is the Tuskegee. University Golden Tigers Sports Network. Enjoy the go with Charmin. At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interest and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire, 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407-49... We're back live on the campus of Tuskegee University, second quarter. At the beginning of the second quarter, Central State, the Marauders lead the Golden Tigers 7-0. It'll be first and 10 for the Tigers on their own 49-yard line. Ryan Nettles got the start for the Tigers in for injured Golden Tiger quarterback Bryson Williams. Here's the first play of the second quarter. Nettles has two receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Nettles oh, yes, has it baby. open. It's going to be caught inside, and it's going to be down to the four-yard <laughs> line. And just like that, Ken and Kendrick Golan Tigers are in the red zone. It don't take long. That 
Uh, Noah Hart, number zero. Good speed, good, you know, breakaway speed. We put it, Nettles put it up there, and he ran up under it. I, I, you got to love it. That's that's a great timing pattern. Nettles finally got a chance to sit in that pocket and was able to thread that needle and get, get that ball up in the air. And uh, Noah was able to put that speed on, put them guns on, get some separation and get down the field. 46 yards on that last play. Gets it first down. Ten. First and 10. It's on the seven-yard line. Here's Nettles on that after that big play. Here's Nettles. Stops back in the gut. Goes Nettles. Nettles turns the corner. Tries to turn it up. He gets it back to the line of scrimmage. Give the Marauders, guys, great defensive read by, by the uh, Marauders of Central State. Definitely. They were able to sniff that one out. 14 at 12. Clock runs. First, second down from the seven-yard line. Second and goal for the Golden Tigers. Here's Nettles. Nettles looks to the sideline, gets gets a signal. Two receivers to the near side. Here's Nettles on a long count. Ryan drops back, has time, looks inside of there. Oh, yes. It's going to be caught. Textbook, Touchdown. Baby. Textbook, Tuskegee. baby. Textbook, baby. Golden Tigers strike for the first time of the contest. We have a 7-6 ball game. Kendrick and Ken. Showtime meets right on time. I tell you, that's a great name for him. Showtime. Watch that feet. Watch that feet work. See that control, the double step right there to keep both feet in bounds while his hands was up in the air. Here's, here's a PAT for the Tigers. Oh, there we go. Here's a kick. He splits them. It's good. We have a tied ball game, 7-7. Seven, seven. With 13:42 in the in the second, and Ken and Kendrick Golden Tigers have found some good offensive mixture, and they're the cheerleaders doing their their backflips for the touchdown. A little extra activity. To, we have to give credit to the cheerleaders. They, they do a great job of keeping them motivated out there. They come out there for every score. They come out there and do a little flip. I remember they used to have the military used to come out and do push-ups. Uh, so. Um, if we get games going, if we get games going on, we can look forward to see a lot more activities as as the, as, as the Golden Tigers score. And Hart was really Noah Hart was really the workhorse um, on that drive. You know, really made some big time plays for us to get us in position to score the uh, great answer by the Golden Tigers. Great offensive surge, and we have seen it with Bryson Williams, and now with Ryan Nettles. And that's a great thing about the depth that Coach Aaron James has. He has a a lot of depth at the quarterback position. Ryan lines up the tee on the 35-yard line. What were you saying, Ken? Here's Ryan. Oh, nice kick. kick. Nice it's going to roll down. And almost down, it's going to be first and 10 for the Marauders from the 25-yard line. You, what that were you was, saying? That was a great kick there. It almost ended up on the one-yard line. He was um, the defender, the um, receiver wasn't going to touch it. He thought it was going to go all the way in the end zone, and it finally just barely made it into the end zone. But that yep. was great face there. But um, Magnificent Meek had some great footwork on that on that um, touchdown. I love his feet work and his hands. He caught it with all hands, and his foot, footwork was great. Coach Kevin Porter and Aaron James meeting for the first time, both year first-year coaches at Central State and Tuskegee University, respectively. And it's been an exciting game, guys, so far. And Central State has certainly come in this contest with a lot of agility. And it's yes, like it we would, you know, um, like I said, going up against two LCS uh, opponents in Mississippi Valley and Dayton, but in both those uh, contests, they were able to move the ball through the air. And they have proven that today in this contest. Ball game tied. 13:42 in the second. Tuskegee 7, Central State 7. You're listening to the Golden Tigers Sports Network live from Tuskegee, Alabama on the campus of Tuskegee University. Frank Lee along with Ken Woodard and Kendrick Hooks looking forward to an exciting afternoon for a football in Tuskegee. Yes, indeed. When they decide where, where they're going to set the hash from, Seemed like we got a penalty. It should have came out. It was touched. Should have came out to the twenty, but for some reason it was a penalty. And they, and they put it on the on the fifteen. 
First and 10 for the Marauders on the 15-yard line, their own 15-yard line. Alec Lewis calls the signals for Central State. Has two receivers to the near side, one to the far. Here's Lewis, sets up, wants to throw, has a man open, and he rolls down to the 20. Picks up five yards on that play. It's going to bring up uh, second down. The second down. And lucky on that one, you know, that was our favorite guy, uh, King, over there. Michael King on the, on the coverage, he lost a little footage there, but he was trying to break on that ball. It could have been a pick six from because he's known for getting that pick six. Second down and five for the Marauders. High snap. The give is up to gut. And the Golden Tigers, he eludes one. He eludes two. Breaks it down, and he's going to be pushed down. And before he gets to the 43-yard line, Kendrick and Ken. Yes, he definitely on the replay here. You can see break, break one tackle, two, three, four, and, and they off to the races. That's good leg power. Keep your feet moving. You got to keep your feet moving. First and 10. Great play. Here's, here's a play. It's going to be caught inside. And it's going to be fumbled. And looks like Golden Tigers. <laughs> Let's look at that replay. Tuskegee gets a break defensively. They'll take over with a fumble recovery. Aldrich on the recovery for the Golden Tigers. It couldn't come at a better time, guys. For the Golden Tigers. That's First down to Skiggy. Yeah, because Central State has been prone to turnovers all season, you know. Um, so, luckily, that one broke our way. Hopefully, we can answer right here and take the lead. 12 58, yeah. interception, turnover by the Marauders. First and 10, Golden Tigers get a gift in September. It is not even Christmas. <laughs> 1258. Hard work and good effort would get take care of that too. I like the way he punched that ball out. You know, you got to tuck that ball away. It was a great catch by the wide receiver, but you still got to hang, hang on to it. Here's a play. Hit it. Up the gut. There goes him through. First man through, and he runs with the, an authoritative run, and that's going to bring it inside. It's going to be inside of the 32 yard line. Second down and three for the Tigers. Here's Nettles. Twin receivers to the near side, Meeks to the far side. Looks over, gets signals from the sideline. 12-31 in the second. Tied ball game, 7-7 from Tuskegee. It's Hall of Fame weekend. Here's Nettles. Nettles sets up, wants to throw, has time. It's going to be caught, but you gotta get, looks you gotta like get he may be out of bounds. Right. You got to get to the first down marker there on there. What do you think? Was yeah, he, go ahead. You got to know where the sticks are. You know, you got to sit on the sticks sometimes. <laughs> sit on the sticks. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. Third down and two. Possession Great. down for the Tigers. Ball is on the 33 yard line of Tuskegee. 12 19. Clock run. Second quarter action. Ball game tied. Nettles in his first start for the Tigers. Looks over to the sideline, gets signals. Nettles makes adjustments. Here's Ryan with the football. Nettles gives it up to Gut again and gives it to his favorite receiver thus far in the bowl game. That's going to be Chase Sellers. And Sellers will get it to the 35 yard line, picks up two on that carry, 12 09 in the second. Tied ball game, and it's been pretty, pretty competitive, competitive guys. Yes, it has. It's, it's been uh, great. Um, Central State they had a couple more pending leads than Tuskegee, but we haven't had the execution of that that Tuskegee needs to, and so the, the game's been going back and forth. And um, it's going it's going to be a good good game. It's, uh, I think no no team is going to dominate more than the other, but you got a couple of good plays on both sides, definitely with the air attack. Ryan Duff stands on the eighteen yard line back for Central State. Brandon Brock is on his own twenty eight yard line. Here's Ryan's Ryan, punt. Duff gets a sparrow off. Oh, it's yeah. going to be fumbled. Who's going to come up with the football? And it looks like it's going to be the Golden Tigers. With another break, guys, for Tuskegee. Again, another gift in September, and it's not Christmas. You know, it's one of those things that we talked about earlier. You know, uh, Turnovers have played uh, Central State, and uh, just hopefully the Golden Tigers can take advantage of this one. Yeah. You, you got to love it, and that, that, you know, that, that, can, that can break you. You have a couple good plays, but your consistency is not consistent enough, and those plays like that will hurt you. 
and uh, get you out of sync. And Golden Tigers take advantage of this one, this turnover, and we can, we can have a game going there. Who came up with the football, guys, that you get that number? We'll go back and get that later. 11-23, first and 10 for the Tigers. Ball is on the 35-yard line. Here's Nettles. Gives it up to Gut. He picks up two difficult yards on the carry for the Golden Tigers. Is number 23, Zena Melba. You know, it's like we said earlier, one of those points of emphasis for Central State was could they stop the run? You know, they had a hard time in the past two games. But like, they're really, you know, stifling up right now. Second down and 10. Ball is on the 35-yard line of the Marauders. Meeks split far to the left side. Two receivers to the near side. Here's a play. Nettles. Drops back, play action, Nettles, fires it up, looks for Meeks, it's caught. It's caught inside of the eight-yard oh, line. Out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. That's one for the book. Couldn't but get his feet in, but great execution. I Let's like look at vertical. the replay. I love that vertical. Let's watch that replay, guys. Up in the air. He, he did his best. He watched the football well, but couldn't get those feet down. But we're going to see that play again, mark my words. He had a similar uh, pass like that caught last week at Kentucky State that was out of bounds. But, you know, uh, Showtime meets. I mean, he can go up and get it. He can climb that ladder. Third down and 10 for Ryan Nettles and company. Ball is on the 35-yard line of the Marauders. Here's Nettles. Oh, it's oh. going to be snapped over his head. Nettles is going to fall on the ball, did the right thing. A bad exchange, then. We haven't seen that all year, but it happens periodically. And that's going to put the Golden Tigers back in punt formation. One, two, three, four. Got to punt it off, and I tell you, uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be exciting to see what's going to happen defensively from here because that defensive unit is certainly going to be eager to get that ball back, guys. Yes, definitely. And you know, you 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 have um, we had two turnovers by Central State, where our Golden Tigers didn't capitalize on neither, and that's something that they hadn't did before. Um, Let's look forward Here's to a punt. Dana on his own. Loving 18. Kick. He's going to call fair catch inside of the 14-yard line. It'll be first and 10, guys, for the Marauders. They'll take it over first and 10 from their own 18, 19-yard line. I'm sorry. It's going to be on the 14-yard line. A little visual impaired there. It's going to be on the 14-yard line. My correction. It's good. First down and 10. The ball is on the, they're going to be on the Marauders 14 yard line. Number 16, Hunter. Lewis has been the sole quarterback only when he lost his helmet. He'll have it first and 10 for the 14. Here's Lewis. Play action. Has a man open. It's going to be. Nope. Broken Good up. Job. Great job. Great job. Broken up by the Golden Tigers on that breakup for Tuskegee. Number, that's going to be number 34. And he's not on the roster. We'll find out uh, from Jordan Benson who he is. But great play by number 34. Here's Harris. Oh, yeah. And that's another go. great defensive play by the Golden Tigers. Noah Holton. Holton coming up to make the stop for Tuskegee. Gave them a little bit of their own mess in there, Kendrick. And um, Frank, um, that backside blitz. And he got that number five. Number five being the horse running that ball. And look, that replay shows it right there. We could get that backside, get them hands on, wrap him up real good because the boy got some good legs on him. Third down and 10. Lewis and company has it from his own 13 on a long count. Has a man in motion. Lewis calls audible. Lewis drops back, wants to throw, turns around, finds a man inside. He's going to be oh, yeah. forward inside <laughs> of the 11 yard line. Here's a look at that replay. Let's watch the replay. Look at that lot, man. Let's Control watch the that. replay, guys. Great. Defensive read there by the Tigers. Oh, love it, baby. Yeah, you got to love you. that tackle. That's the, yeah. That's a great wrap up. Bull him down. Great stands by the Golden Tiger defense right there. You get, you know, two greats. Uh, then capitalize to come out and hold them to a three and out right there. That's big time football. Garon Taylor will stand on the 46-yard line. The Marauders will kick it from their own three. Here's a punt. It's going to be taken inside of the 49, crosses the 50. Got a wall, got a wall. There's the oh. ball. It's formed. <laughs> and 
He'll be pushed out of bounds around the 27-yard line. And great guy, great punt return by the Tigers. And, yes, the wall was forming on the far side of the field and one or two more blocks, and he would have turned the corner. And it was a great heads-up play also where where they, they, did, they had number 11 and two guys could have got him, but it would have been a clip in the back, pushing the back, and they just let him go and breeze by him, which was a great heads-up play by the special teams, being disciplined. Because that could have been bad for us and brought back, but did not. And he was a first and 10 nine yard line of the Marauders. Ryan Nettles in his first start has his tiger set to receivers. Backside blitz. Black side turns the corner. There goes Sellers. He'll get inside and he'll get it down to the 13 yard line. Great, great run by the by the Golden Tigers right there. Starting to establish that run like they did last week against Kentucky State. Yes, yeah, so that was that. that was great. That was... Back to live action. Nettles calling the signals. First and ten. Ball is on the twenty-yard line of the Marauders. Here's Nettles. Great play. Goes inside. Gets inside. He's going to be brought down around the 13. There's a flag on the field. And preliminary indications. It appears to be against maybe the Golden Tigers. A clip or a hole. We'll wait and see officially what it is. Number 15. Number 15. Ten yards going to be assessed against the Tigers. Well, the official started giving us an explanation, but he stopped. He turned his mic off. <laughs> seven seven is the score in the in the first second quarter of the contest. Eight minutes remains in the second. It's uh, Hall of Fame weekend on the campus of Tuskegee University. Tuskegee seven, Central State seven. First and 20 for Ryan Nettles. Has receivers to the far side. Play action. Nettles sets up. What's the throw? Oh, it's nobody home. Oh, me. The receiver was Meeks. Little mix up on that play, guys. We'll see it again. Definitely. Just want to get the running back a shout out for picking up um, that linebacker. Um, you know, chipping him, not letting him get into Nettles. You know, what we saw them getting to him earlier, rushing the, the throw. Great, great effort there by the Golden Tigers. 748, Frank Lee, Kendrick Hooks, and Ken Woodard. It's Hall of Fame weekend here in Tuskegee, Alabama. Second down and 15 for the Tigers. Here's Nettles. Nettles sets up. What's the throw? Has it man wide open? Here's Mix. And Mix will get down, and he'll get it down to the six yard line. And what did you call him, Kendrick? Showtime, Showtime Mix. <laughs> That, that was, was 12. 12. That yeah. was 12. I'm sorry. Corey Petty. That was Petty. That, yes. Let me make my correction. Yeah. Corey Petty on the receiving end for the Tigers. And he made a great catch without getting the knee down because sometimes when the ball comes that low, low, they usually put the knee. But he did a good squat. Great to the uh, weight strength and coach. Here's a play. Throws out again. Inside. Gives it inside. He'll weave his way down. Oh, yeah, He'll baby. Pull his way down. And he's going to push out of bounds around the three-yard line, number 83 uh, for the Golden Tigers. Hey, break one tackle. Break two, three, four guys, five. Kenyon Webb And on he that. still doesn't go down out of bounds. He just gets pushed out of bounds, Frank. Yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's the hungry dog getting the bone. Webb on that play for the Tigers. Second and goal for Tuskegee. Ryan Nettles. Directing the Golden Tiger offense to receivers to the far side, Meeks to the near side. Here's the play. Here's Chase Sellers. Chase Sellers. And Sellers gets it back, maybe, guys, to the line of scrimmage. Kendrick, what was that? That was that um that, that outside backer again coming in there free. We, we gotta you gotta pick him up if you're gonna run that weak side. You gotta, you gotta have somebody to block him. It's a, it's a straight shot at him. Third and goal for the Tigers. Nettles trips to the far side. Meeks single back to the near side. 
Third down and four. Ball on the four. And it looks like uh, timeout. Let's take a break on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Nope. Come on, him. Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic... We're back live from Cleveland, L. Albert Memorial Stadium. Third down and four for the Tigers. Here's Nettles. Nettles gets to give. He goes to Sellers, and Sellers pulled out. Nettles is his way down. And the Marauders create a goal line defense, guys. And here's uh, fourth, fourth, down. fourth down. We got a field goal kicker comes in for the Golden Tigers. Lorcan Ryans will uh, attempt a field goal. And his uh, fellow punter, Ryan Duff, will hold. 542. Ryans has been pretty good. Here's the field goal. It's up. He splits them. It's good. Golden Tigers captivate a three-point edge. We have a 10-7 ball game. Let's pause on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Professional learning? Teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is always Ultra Thins reinvented with the always triple protection system. This pad wicks gush is 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally re- 10-7 is your score with five minutes and 34 seconds. It's Hall of Fame weekend as uh, the same young man that just kicked that field goal will kick it off for the Tigers. Here's the kick. Fair catch is called on the five-yard line. It'll be first and 10. The Marauders will operate around the six-yard line, I believe, guys. Yes, that's something. Uh, we got, we got, got a, penalty. a flag. flag. Got a penalty flag on the field. Well, it's been uh, a well-balanced ball game, and the Golden Tigers were able to strike with a field goal, and they take a 10-7 lead. And I tell you, this uh, Marauders football team, Ken and Kendrick, they came here to play. Yeah, you know, a big-time stop on the goal line by J uh, Jaleel Lenore, um, the sophomore linebacker for Central State, you know, playing big, big time. You know, came real, has come on really big for Central State. 534. Frank Lee, Kendrick Hooks, and Ken Woodard. And Central State is going to get a big uh, bit of break. First unsportsmanlike conduct of the game. And it's going to be first and 10. That'll move it to the 40-yard line of the Marauders. Puts the Marauders uh, in a great field position as they'll operate first and 10 from their own 40-yard line. Alec Lewis calling the signals, has a man in motion, twin receivers to the far side, one to the near side. 
Here's Lewis. Lewis sets up, wants to throw, finds a man around the great job, great job. 35, and he'll get it to the 38 yard line. It'll be second down, and let's see where they'll get that spot. Lost the yard there, Frank. He lost the yard. Okay. Great open open field tackle. Great discipline. Uh, selling your feet, keeping your feet moving, your head up, positioned very well. You can you can see that tackling drill paid off. Second down and eleven. Ball on the thirty nine. Here's uh, Central State. Lewis with the football gives it up to the first man through Golden Tigers and their crimson jerseys collide and say nowhere to go. Kendrick and Ken. Yes, indeed. That, that guy been having a, a time on us. Um, but as a running back. He's been number five, been doing great, and they're shutting them down. I like, I like what they're doing. With the sun uh, peeking through the clouds, it started out a hazy Saturday afternoon, but a sunshiny Saturday afternoon here in Cleveland, L. Albert Memorial Stadium. 10 7 H score, 429, Clark County. Lewis. Drops back, sets up. Lewis wants to throw. He gets a man. And it was trapped, trapped around the 45. <laughs> couldn't couldn't act that one out, Kendrick and Ken. He did his best to try to come up with a a portrayal of, of catching the football. You know, another great stance by the Golden Tiger defense is like what uh, Ken said earlier, those adjustments that uh, the Golden Tigers have made to kind of, you know, slow this uh, Central State aerial attack, you know, down. And that's exactly what has happened. In punt formation, Jose Charles for the Marauders. He gets one off, and it's going to be taken like at that a high. good hang time. Fair catch is called on the 20. It'll be first and 10 for the Golden Tigers. They'll operate. First and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Ryan Nettles, who got the start for the Golden Tigers, will operate first and 10 from, from the 20. And, you know, looking at the special teams, we're getting some great punts out there. The hang time at that height is more beautiful. It's beautiful because it gives the, chance, the guys a chance to get down the field to put get a, to circle that ball. And so they have to call fair catch when you got that kind of height on it. And that was a great, great um, kick by the punter. Four minutes and 11 State. seconds in the second. 10-7, Golden Tigers up by three. Marauders certainly have come to play here in Cleveland L. Abbott Memorial Stadium. Frank Lee, Ken Woodard, and Kendrick Hooks here on the broadcast. And it's been an exciting debut for Coach Aaron James and the Golden Tigers at home. Here's the play. Ryan sets up, wants to throw, throws long, and it's going to be caught. Inside of the 45, will it give it to him, guys? Did they say? No, no, no he's out of bounds. He's out of bounds. But great execution. Just got to catch the ball in bounds, and he did yeah. his very best to get those feet down. Yeah, Kendrick, you said that before. Um, they, 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 that's a play that they used a lot. A lot. Noah but Hart. That, but that defensive back used that sideline as that 12th man. Absolutely. On it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So it was great coverage. He squeezed them, squeezed them out of the um, field to play. Second, go ahead, Kendrick. I was, you can tell Central State has watched a lot of film. They're playing that really well. Second and ten, ball on the twenty. Nettles fires it out, looks for a man, hits caught inside, takes it down to the thirty yard line, and he'll get it inside. And we'll see where they'll mark it. Officials, we're waiting on that official spot. Dominique Davis is that linebacker number zero. He's been all over the field, and that was good uh, closing speed and closing pursuit to get out outside the hash. He lined up at the hash, and he got outside the numbers to make it a great great tackle for a no game. Clock runs 342 in the second. 10-7 as you score. Ryan Nettles trips to the near side. One receiver to the far side. Man in motion. Here's Nettles. Nettles sets up, wants to throw, unloads the football, and it's oh, going to be go. overthrown. You, you got to love it overthrown and that was then number 15 on the receiver intended receiver was antonio meeks but there's a flag it was just holding that was holding though because he meeks could get down the field on there but it looked like he hurt the ankle a little bit um hopefully he's not injured too much but when he walked off the field there you can see him um once he got to the sideline he did a little limp hopefully the trainers can get him get him back and get it taped up for him and get him back out there that's going to be a first down for the tigers great break but Coach Aaron James' Tigers is going to mark the ball inside of the 30. It'll be on the 30-yard line. 
First and 10 from the 30. Clock says 327. Here's Nettles. Nettles gives again and picks up maybe a yard. One difficult one on that play. Ball carrier for the Golden Tigers is uh, number 23. Zena Marble. Zena Marble on the carry. Seen him a lot this year. Third and 306 before halftime. Golden Tigers have it second down and nine. 10 7 is your score. He makes a great tag team, 23 and 21. Chase Sells is doing, doing a great job of alternating there. I like those two guys. Second down and nine for Nettles and company. Nettles. Play action. Nettles sets up. Has time. Unloads it. Has a man open. It's going to oh, be. did he touch him? It down. looks like he touched him, but did not enough to draw another penalty. A little bit overthrown, Kendrick and Ken. Sometimes you, get, you have that closing speed, but it's, it, it's good. That's a young kid. That's his first time out there uh, getting the pass like that deep. Um, he looks looks good, and um, we'll see that again. Definitely. The, the play action seems to be, you know, getting, getting a little traction. So once the Golden Tigers settle down and settle down with the offense, I, I look for that to really be there in the fourth quarter. 241 clock runs here at Hall of Fame weekend on the campus of Tuskegee University. 10-7 is your score. Third down and nine for Ryan Nettles and company. Ball on the 30. One yard line of the Golden Tigers. Looks like timeout is going to be called. It's Coach Aaron James is going to call his Tigers over and talk it out. Let's pause on the Tuskegee University Golden Tigers Sports Network. This triple protection system. This Padwick's gush is 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Dense. This is always like never before. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, my colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell leadership principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today, don't delay, call Cuvay. We're back to live action on the campus of Tuskegee University. It's homecoming weekend. Frank Lee, Ken Woodard, and Kendrick Hooks here on the broadcast. It's been an exciting afternoon for football in Tuskegee. Sun is peeping through the clouds, and it's 39. Here's Nettles. Nettles unloads. It has a man. It's going to be caught and batted down. Has intended great throw by number 14. And that's going to be Grant's pool on that uh, particular catch. I'm thinking, yes. little little change on the uh, roster here. He had he wore number eight last week, but great execution uh, by the Golden Tigers. But give the Marauders great defensive coverage by Central State. It's definitely it's definitely a game that's going back and forth. It's going to be come down to the team that make the least amount of mistakes. Ryan and Duff can and Kendrick stands on his own 15 yard line. Here's Duff gets one off. It's going to be fair catch. It's going to be well he's going to let it take a bounce. It's going to take a Golden Tiger bounce. It'll be first and 10 for the Marauders. It'll be inside of the 41 yard line of Central State. You know a lot of the pregame reviews are, um, on this game had this being a high scoring game, but it looked like it's turned out to be a, a defensive slugfest out here. Today. It has been, Kendrick. <laughs> I think that is a a pretty well assessment of this contest. Both teams have uh, shown and distributed great defensive play here. The distribution of defense, I should say. The distribution of defense. They got some great plays. They went deep and been trying to go deep and make some big plays. But defense be coming through on both sides. First and ten for the Marauders. Here's a play. Drops back. Has time. It's gonna be caught inside of the 38-yard line. Great 
first down effort by the Marauders on that receiving end for Central State was T.J. Gregory. And he's out of your home state, Ken, of Michigan. He's from Detroit for the Marauders. Outstanding. First and 10, no huddle. Here's the play. Pooch. Get him. Pooch. I tell you, that was one out of the bag of tricks. And uh, let's watch that replay, guys. Look at the replay here. Number five, just definitely got some good feet. Kept his balance. Almost had the shoe tackle right there. Back to live action. Here's Aris drops back. He oh, is yeah. going to be sacked inside, and he's going <laughs> to lose that headgear for the second time. And he felt the pain of the Golden Tigers. He's going to have to come out of the ball game. He knows it. Ten is already coming in for uh, Central State. And remember him last time he, he did um, the quarterback sneak. Uh, Kendall shot, Boney. Shotgun. Boney comes in for the uh, Alec Lewis, the sole starter. Uh, for the Marauders, second time he's had to come in and uh, bail his fellow quarterback out. Second down and 10. The ball is on the 29-yard line of the Tigers. 138 clock run, second quarter action. Oh, Over the go. head, there's a mix-up on the play, and he was a little oh, yeah. bit digested there. It's, took a bad snap, and it came at a bad time. Frank, I, you know, I'm loving this turn into a defensive battle. You know, those linebackers, we love to see that contact. And I seen the print. They had eight in the box, and they sent everybody to hit every gap. And lucky that he was able to, to get down because he definitely was going to lay some wood on him. The Marauders called timeout. Let's take a break. This is the Golden Tigers Sports Network. The latest information on Southern University Sports, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and HBCU Athletics. There's only one place to go. Tune in to the Carlos Brown Show, exclusively on the Black College Sports Network. T. Madden & Associates is a sophisticated and experienced law firm located in your neighborhood. We're turning injury to cash. T. Madden & Associates obtained almost $2 million for my injury. They turned my injury to cash. Now, we can't guarantee how much your injury is worth, but... We're back to live action on the campus of Tuskegee University where the Golden Tigers lead the Marauders 10-7. It's Hall of Fame weekend. Marauders with the football, third down and 25. Ball is on the 36-yard line of the Tigers. Here's the play. Trying to go to the end zone. Sets up, wants to throw. Go to the end zone. Has a man. It's going to be thrown out of bounds. That's going to bring up fourth and 25. The ball is on the 36-yard line, and we'll see if the Marauders will send in a place kicker. We, we sitting on the clock, Frank. We got a minute and 21 seconds to play. And you know, I, I thought they would, might try to go to the end zone on that to see if they can get some, get a score in before the, before the half. I saw a little frustration with Lewis coming off the field that time. Um, you know, miscommunication with the wide receiver. I know he wants to hit those big homers. So. He was a little digested there, but uh, they'll send their punter in. He'll stand at midfield, minute 21 for the Marauders. Uh, deep back for the Golden Tigers is going to be Karon Taylor. And we had a whistle blown, and he'll have to punt it again, guys. Number 38 uh, has been the sole punter. Delay of game assessed against the Central State Marauders here in this uh, Hall of Fame weekend contest. Jose Charles is the punter for the Marauders. He'll stand on his own 45-yard uh, line. Minute 21 to go before this halftime uh, occurs, Frank Lee, along with Ken Woodard and Kendrick Hooks. An outstanding afternoon for football in historic Tuskegee, Alabama. Here's a play. It's going to be a pooch. Fair catch is going to be called, and he'll... Stand on the five-yard line. Ryan Nettles will operate offensively from its own five-yard line. A minute and 20 ticks on the clock before halftime festivities. The Golden oh, Tigers Sports Network is uh, so proud to have Kendrick Cooks join us this afternoon, a new feature to our broadcast. Uh, Kendrick has a, has a podcast, SIAC Talk, and is I say an authority on the SIEC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but you know, it's like I told you when I invite you on, you know, the history of the SIAC, I, I learn a lot from you and we, we build off that. Well, I thank you. I thank you for that. I've I've been around a lot more years than you have, and that's the only why. The only reason why. Here's, Here's the, the play, play, and Sellers gets it. Zellers, rather, gets it inside. He'll move it to the 18-yard line for the Tigers. Way to get ahead of the sticks that time. Backed up now on his own. No, no, that was Malbo. That was Zayna Malbo. I'm sorry. I got those numbers mixed up and don't need to get my glasses changed, Ken. It was just a little visual impaired view there. That was that age you were speaking of, Frank. That's what we got. Yeah, Ken, Ken, Kendrick, is going, <laughs> if Kendrick has been around as long as I have. He'll, he'll be an expert by the time he gets my age, but he's done a fantastic job, and we're so proud to have him a part of our team. That is correct. 43 takes clock runs here, 10-7 ball game. Third down and four for Ryan Nettles and the Golden Tigers. The debut game for Aaron James here at home, a venue where he certainly has a lot of history here in Tuskegee. Former Golden Tiger quarterback, All-American, All-SIAC, All-Conference, uh, Golden Tiger. And now he is uh, in his dream. He's a head football coach at historic Tuskegee University. Time for one more play, and he'll get inside, and it'll be down to the 25-yard line. They're just going to work that clock on out, Frank, I think, and then call it call it a good go to get to the end. Um, I, I was hoping we can see him take it up top a little bit and air it out a little bit. But they say, hey, you know, they had got a lot of things to th take, talk about and think about and uh, get better on. So just get the time, get the, uh, get out of there with no turnovers. At halftime, half your time. score, Tuskegee University 10, Central State University 7. Let's pause for halftime. This is the Golden Tiger Sports Network. I am Akil Sanders, a fall 20 graduate of the illustrious Tuskegee University with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, and I am currently a maintenance utility technician at Newport Steel Decatur. I'm Amos Landrum. I'm a recent May 2020 graduate of the illustrious Tuskegee University, where I received two bachelor's degrees in electrical engineering and computer engineering. I'm currently an electrical engineer at the Newport Tubular Products Cedar Springs facility. My journey with Nucor honestly began with my journey at Tuskegee University. Upon attending Tuskegee University, I attended the Freshman Accelerated Startup Training and Retention for Engineering Curricula. I know it's a mouthful, but Fast Track for short, a program for incoming engineering students where you get to come and start taking classes early, get ahead of your peers, and really learn and get to um, talk to a different company.
We're back live on the campus of Tuskegee University. Halftime score, Tuskegee University 7. Tuskegee University 10, rather. I better get that right, Dr. Rice. 10 to 7 is our score. I have Dr. Rolandus Rice is in the uh, press box this afternoon, and he's going to talk with us kind of impromptu about a lot of things that are going on at Mother Tuskegee. Good afternoon, Dr. Rice, and thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, Mr. Lee. I'm always honored to, to join you and to watch the game from this view and just want to commend you and the team for doing a magnificent job. Well, we, we uh, could not have done it without your cooperation. It's been an exciting uh, evening for football. Started off with a little rain. And, you know, Dr. Rice, we have this thing around Tuskegee. Booker T. Washington always gives us good weather, and it hadn't <laughs> failed today. Well, we need to come up with the song, it, it Never Rains in Tuskegee. We'll take a play off of Tony, 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 because this is certainly a beautiful and hallowed grounds. And to know that Booker T. Washington is still smiling down on us is a reminder of why we're here today. Well, it's been a Hall of Fame weekend. We had some fine young men to be inducted last night at Warren Logan Hall. And an exciting afternoon for football. Our student body is here. We have a record enrollment. Tell us about some of the things that are going on now here on the campus. Yes, sir, you're correct. We do have a record enrollment, particularly with our freshmen. More than 1,000 paid deposits and more than 944 actually enrolled. We have students from all over the country uh, and even representatives from different countries in the, in, in, the, in the world. So we are really trending upward. And we've realized that we are always in the right position to move in the right direction. Well, you know, you talk about enrollment from out of the country. I've been doing Tuskegee football uh, a long time, and I cannot recall where we've had a recruit coming from out of the United States. Our place kicker comes from Ireland. Ireland, yeah, I learned that a few weeks ago, and it's just another testament that Tuskegee is a global classroom with world reach. And no matter where you are, no matter where you're from, you know about Mother Tuskegee. The far-reaching reach of Mother Tuskegee goes throughout this country, goes throughout the United States. Talk a little bit about some of the most exciting things that you've experienced this year and tell us about some of the things that are going on here on the campus. You know, I, I find time to eat with the students in the cafeteria or to sit with them in the student section, and I get to hear their stories. And there is a consistent theme, Rice. We can't believe that we are experiencing greatness every day in the classroom or when I walk be besides the grave of Washington and Carver. So they're really starting to realize that uh, this institution and, and its contributions to mankind. And, and I think that's the most important part. Now, certainly from the, the granular perspective, but we think about the academic programs, think about the conversations around aviation, think about the fact that we have more than uh, $70 million in research funding this year. And last year, we were at $50 million. So again, always in the right position to move in the right direction. Well, we want to just say a lot about the accomplishments of Athletic Director Reginald Ruff in this fine facility. Came here last year as head coach at Tuskegee University and now full-time athletic director. And we have some beautiful facilities. Our students will get a chance to enjoy some of the accoutrements that we're experiencing here today. Beautiful. Uh, it looks good from the press box. I think this is a wonderful view, and you're right. We must attribute much of this to A.D. Ruffin and his vision for improving the facilities and ensuring that we had an amazing experience for our students, faculty, staff, and our stakeholders because you can see and feel the buzz and excitement on this campus, and a lot of that we must attribute to our, our A.D. Well, you know, uh, Dr. Rice, this is one of the best starts that we've had since 2016. I told some of my colleagues last year we had some problems with getting certain students enrolled and I, I would have predicted that we've had an undefeated season but we're rolling now we're rolling coach Aaron James as his uh, debut here today he's had an outstanding career so far and we're going to wrap it up and give our uh, opportunity to give our uh, fans a chance to um, take a look at that marching Crimson Piper band. Thank you so much, Mr. Lee, and I think we've done a magnificent job, and again, we, we expect great things out of Coach Jones moving forward, so thank you for your service, sir. Dr. Rolandus Rice, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us here at halftime. We wish you well in your tenure at Tuskegee, and we look forward to working with you and the staff 
at Tuskegee University. Thank you so much, Dr. Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Well, we're back live here, and now the Marching Crimson Pipers and the Marching Crimson Piperettes are gonna, going to entertain us here at halftime. and pipers on the dance floor. Hey, isn't that what you came here for? So go ahead, pipers and do what it do. Jamming yeah. out the place. And a condo. Uh-oh. And from Harlem, too. Thank <laughs> you. 
Back live on the campus of Tuskegee University. Halftime score 10, Tuskegee at 7 Central State University. I have the honor of having two, I call them local yokels on the vocal here this, this afternoon Irving Smith, along with um, Reginald Harrison, two native sons, are here with us this afternoon. And before I start, I'm going to say this. I know J.B. Harrison and Irvin Smith are smiling from heaven. <laughs> yes, they are so proud of you all. And I can just remember we date back to you all being players here at Tuskegee University, holding down the linebacker positions. And it was a joy, Reginald, to see you enter the Hall of Fame. And Irvin, it was even more a pleasure to have you back last night at home to yes. be a part and inducted in the Tuskegee University Hall of Fame. Uh, we're going to give Irvin Smith, Reginald, his first time because uh, you've been here before. Irvin, Absolutely. how does it feel to be back at home? Frank, it's, it's always in your heart. I mean, you never lose this feeling. When you come back, there's a sense of pride. There's a, You've just played. It's a proud. And I will tell you, I've been trying to find one word that would explain this whole experience, and I just have not. It's just so humbling to be here and I love it to, the, to death. Well, we're certainly proud to have you here and your sidekick, your roommate, your your homeboy, your childhood friend is here to support you. Reginald Harrison, good afternoon and glad to have you here in the booth with us this afternoon. Glad to be here and it's just such an honor to see uh, one of my best friends in life and my roommate and, uh, you know, my diehard friend get celebrated and inducted to Tuskegee University's Athletic Hall of Fame. Uh, it's, 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 it's surreal, you know, to see this moment, to share this moment with him. And uh, Irvin, I'm looking at you once again. Congratulations, my brother. Thank you deserve Red. every minute of it. Thank you, Red. Well, you know, i tell you what. Um, I was telling Ken Woodard earlier today, you know, during the time that you all played here, your families would have jerseys with your numbers on them, and they came in large numbers. <laughs> Uh, we yeah. have two young men from Tuskegee, Alabama, um, Michael King. We have an inactive Golden Tiger, but we have seen the same kind of support locally. Okay. They came from, he came, both of them came from Booker T. Washington High School, and we're going to see a lot of that. And time is kind of ending up, but I just wanted to have you guys on to just say hello to all the Golden Tiger fans. Reginald Harrison and Irving Smith, Jr., congratulations, and Irving you're the newest Macon County uh, Golden Tiger to go in the hall. What a what a you know what an honor to be there. I mean, what way to uh, honor Macon County as well? Well, we're gonna get back to live action here and make a transition. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll be talking more to you uh, as the year progresses. Thank, Thank you, you for the opportunity, Frank. We Thank appreciate you, Frank. it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh -huh. We're back to live action here. We're gonna make some adjustments. Uh, Kendrick is gonna come around and. Ken is going to come back, but right now here's the kick, and it's going to be taken inside of the 10, the 15, the 20, the 25, and brought down on the 20-yard line uh, for the Marauders of, of uh, Central State. It's Josh Kennebrew, and the Marauders will have it first and 10. Uh, the officials will mark the ball. Let's see where they'll mark it uh, on the 22-yard line. 
Let's take a look at that kickoff return. But we'll keep it right here uh, in Tuskegee, Alabama, 14 minutes and 54 seconds uh, in the third. Marauders with the football. The give is to fake quarterback uh, little little flicker on that play. Quarterback keeper. Golden Tigers read it well, and the Marauders will lose a couple yards on that play. All right, Franklin, back, back in the saddle with you. Great to be back. Kenji and I, we let you get Second some guys down in here. 14. Here's the play. Throws it long. Intercepted oh, by the goal of the Tigers, and it'll get inside, and it's going to be a touchdown. Touchdown, Tuskegee. <laughs> Number 49 comes up with the football. That's going to be Noah Holton. Comes up from that defensive back position. And what a play to start off the second half. Uh, energy play for the Golden Tigers. And what a way to start it, guys. Definitely. That's, that's, that's exactly what we needed to come out of the half. You know, uh, we had two turnovers earlier that we didn't capitalize on. So the defense said we'll take care of it this time. 16-7 ball game as the Golden Tigers have struck early in the third. Here's a PAT. It's up. He splits them. It's good. And we're in, we got a game going. Now we got some skeegee football going again. You know, 17 7 is your score. Golden Tigers, just like that, guys. Pick six, get back and add seven more points to the score. And here come our cheerleaders out to do their uh, traditional flip for the score. And there they go. One, two. Great athletic skills. Uh, a lot of credit to give to the cheerleaders and the sports team, the band. And we, we got to give credit to them as well. Frank and Kendrick, we uh got to let that it's a supporting cast. It's an overall concept that the athletic department roughing to put together here. And the band, new band, new uniforms looking great. You know, it's just a, a, a winning mentality and a dedication mentality and discipline. Golden Tigers will kick the football off after he just uh, split the uprights. Uh, Ryans will kick it off for the Tigers. And we have a 17-7 ball game here's the kick it's gonna get almost oh, yeah. in the end zone and he'll run it out crosses the five to, to 15 and the 20 brought down <laughs> around yes, the indeed. 16 yard line and uh you know ken a lot of times coaches will tell kickoff return guys if it gets in the end zone just down it <laughs> And you'll get it to the 25-yard line. But he took a chance and took a gamble, got it to the 23. Okay, yes. And Central State, you know, they come out to, you know, try to do second effort, try to make something happen. And, you know, you can't give a guy a fall. You know, you go big or go home, he's going to be the hero of the GOAT. That was a great, great job, Bob. First and 10 for the Marauders from the 18-yard line. Here's a play. Great defensive effort by the Golden Tigers, number five, Kamardina, on the carry for Central State. Dina will get it to the 21-yard line for the Marauders. Second down and 10 from the 21-yard line. Here's a play. The give again up the gut, and the Golden Tigers shut it down. They get it back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, Michael King in on that ca uh, tackle for the Golden Tigers. Got help uh, from his defensive unit. Definitely. No, another big week uh, coming up for Michael King. Booker T. Washington High School's own Michael King. Certainly has made a name for himself here uh, with the Golden Tigers. 13-14 in the third. 17-10 is your score. Here's a play, play action. Got He's going to be sacked. Got I tell you, this Golden Tiger defensive unit is coming back with a second half burst of energy. Yes, you, you can tell that, uh, Kendrick, that, that was definitely a coverage sack right there. That secondary did a great job. Quarterback had no place to throw. He pumped it a couple of times to try to get, get a guy open. Didn't have nobody open. And the defensive line came through with the penetration and made, made a great sack. And that's definitely one of the things that we wanted to see, you know, coming out of the second half and the second half adjustments. Jose Charles will kick it off, punt it off for the Marauders. Back deep for the Golden Tigers. 
It's going to be taken. Whoa, There's baby. a wall. He slides down to the 35-yard line. Keon, Keron Taylor on the uh, punt return for the Golden Tigers. It's perfect field position. And Almost. the Golden Tigers will take it over. First and 10. Uh, it will be marked. Uh, also, trying to remind you, Frank, Frank, of that notorious back we had. Torian Taylor used to be. be I thought about that. <laughs> yeah. I thought about that. And he's just Taylor. signed to play arena football. We'll talk more about that as we progress. 12-27. Ryan Nettles got his first start for the Golden Tigers. Trips to the near side. Here's Nettles. Gives it off, turns the corner, number 21 for the Golden Tigers. It's going to be Chase Sellers. Sellers uh, picks up maybe, maybe one difficult yard for the Tigers. Running off tackle. Nettles has uh, got his first start. Greenville uh, High School native. Greenville, Alabama native, rather. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Same home of uh, former Golden Tiger, Kenneth Crumb. So another quarterback out of Butler County, Alabama. 13.55 for the Tigers. And let's make sure that I get that high school uh, correct. Play action. Nettles fires as a man. Woo. Off the fingertips of the Golden Tigers. Okay. Yeah, he came out of Hillcrest High School. I'm sorry. Yeah. I get you know, I always get Conecuh and Butler County incorrectly stated. He's out of Hillcrest High School, and that's gonna be Conecca rather than Butler County. And that's why I got these two guys in here to keep me on track. I'm sorry, Ryan. You came out of Conecuh County, but I still got a chance to mention former quarterback Kenneth Crum, who's right next door in Butler County. 11.42 here in the third. Nettles sets up, wants to throw. Got him, man. Has oh. a little bit overthrown. But there is a connection between one of the crumbs down in, in, in at Hillcrest and down in Butler County, and I'll get that correct. But there is a connection between the two, the two names. And I will say right quick about Hillcrest. Hillcrest is now under the um, – the head coach is now uh, quarterback Justin Nard. For That's what the connection was. Thank you. Justin Nard, that was that connection that I've been trying to pull out. And thank you, Kendrick. Justin Nard, who was another former quarterback for the Golden Tigers. And Nard was from that same – is he from – okay, Hillcrest. Yes, I, that's what I was trying to say. Thank you. Thank you, Kendrick, for helping me on that. Here's Ryan Dove. He punts it from his midfield position. Fair catch is called. And it'll roll down and <laughs> did his level best to get it on the one, but give him A for effort. You gotta you gotta love it, though. And there's a little theatrical performance by the a punter from uh Central State, but the officials didn't buy it. Give him he, an also an A for effort. He tried to sell it, he tried to sell it, but it's it's uh that's playing good heads of football. If you, you get a chance and you can get it, get that call, you make try to get that call made. Punt return guy, rather. First and 10 from the 20 yard line of the Marauders, Central State with the football. New quarterback in the ball game for the Marauders. Let me see if I can pull that number up. It probably is uh, Boney. No. Yeah, it is, it is Boney. Boney is the new quarterback, and there's a bursting run by Dina. Dina gets it inside, gets it to the 34-yard line, and uh, that's good for a Marauders first down. Trying to run the clock. Here's another play. <laughs> Coach Kevin Porter's Marauders have also come out exploding. In the second half, great offensive play. Another first down for the Marauders. You know, you got 60 minutes of football, you know, and it's Marauders are taking advantage of every minute they can. Here's a play. Give us up to gut. First man through for the Marauders. And yeah, that's going to be Zy Price. Zay Price, rather, for Central State. And it's going to bring up second down. Price is the ball carrier. Ball is on the 49-yard line. Here's Boney. Backside. The high step backside is open, and they get three more yards on that play. 
that was that quick pop, quick pop, that quick dive and get up there, get in the line of scrimmage. We had the 40, 49, that was a strong safety second, coming backside. Second down to 10 from the 49 is Boney. Drops back, play action. Has time, turns it up, looks for O. Runs into his own man, and he's <laughs> bounced down around the 44-yard line of the Golden Tigers. You know, similar to last year, um, this is what happened. Central State came out in the second half and changed quarterback from Booney to Cows last year and uh, made it a football game. So they'll look to try to recreate that this season. Got an injured Golden Tiger while they're attending to the in injury. Let's pause. This is the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Located in your neighborhood, we're turning injury to cash. T. Madden and Associates obtained almost $2 million for my injury. They turned my injury to cash. Now, we can't guarantee how much your injury is worth, but we've recovered millions for our clients. Call T. Madden and Associates at 833-PAID-123. That's 833-PAID-123. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development out. Back to live action here at Cleveland L. Abbott Memorial Stadium, 17 7 Asia score. Boney. Play action. Boney on a quarterback keeper calls his own number, and Boney picks up another Central State first down, guys. And Boney calls his own number. They they found a homie coming up in the middle. Coming Not inside. good enough for a first. Scratch that. Here's Boney. Gives it up. He does get it this time. First down and more. Gets it down to the 19-yard line, and he's broken up and stopped there by Kristen Ramsey for the Golden Tigers. You know, now we're boning the game. Got a guy down. Another number, injured number player. 50. Number them, them. 50 is down, and let's <laughs> pause. This is the goal of the Tiger. We'll, wait. We'll, we'll watch that replay, and then we'll take a pause. Yeah, that D. D John Green, um, D. John Green is, is an offensive tackle. Uh, and it, it cramps out there. Is, is that he The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, Visit us today to take charge of your learning. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. Back to live action from Cleveland, L. Albert Memorial Stadium, 17-7 is your score. Central State marching down first and 10 from the 20. Boney sets up, wants to throw. It's going to be incomplete. Intended receiver for the Marauders. Michael Lowe was the intended receiver for Central State. Great coverage by Chris, Christian uh, Ramsey there, number 18. Trying to go one-on-one -on -one with him. Second down and one for the Marauders. Boney calling the signals. Trips to the right side. Here's the play. Boney sets up. Wants to throw. It's going to be broken up. Great oh, defensive yes, effort by the Golden Tigers. Malik Moore broke that play up for the Tigers. They credit, that, they credit that to the linebacker there, Frank. We love it. Great play for the Tigers. Third down and one. Once you get in the end zone, you got to get that head around. Getting that head around to the big key. Ball's in the air. Kendall Boney calling the signals for the Marauders. Trips to the right side. One receiver to the near side. Here's Boney. Drops back. Boney wants to throw. Has pressure. He gets it off. It's caught inside. It goes to the 10. Goes to the 7. He's going to hurdle down. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds. But there's a flag on the field. And he that play executed well. But it won't get anywhere because there's a flag. Okay, yeah. Looks like it might be a little push in the back. 
by Central State. It's, it's going to bring, bring it back. You know, we and our, our Golden Tigers made a good call and not clipping somebody in the back. At this time, Central State did not make that heads-up call and um, end up with a penalty that cost them some yardage. Personal foul assessed against the Marauders, and that's going to bring the ball back. Great uh, defensive uh, great defensive break for the Tigers. 8.50 in the third, 17-7 is your score. Frank Lee, along with Ken Woodard and Kendrick Hooks on the broadcast this afternoon. Here's Boney. Has twin receivers either side. Boney sets up, wants to throw, steps in and out of the pocket and throws up log, and it's going to be off the fingertips of number 25, guys, and he's going to remember that play all the way back to Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, he definitely would like to head out one back. The grad transfer from University of Nevada. Oh, okay. That's a long way from home to miss a ball. <laughs> but he, and I he tell you, that, that yeah. was a crucial play for the Marauders. They're going to bring their uh, place kicker in to attempt a field goal. And it's going to be about a 46-yard field goal. And in for the Marauders is going to be Jose Charles. Charles uh, is going to attempt the field goal, 842. And um, Tigers lead it by 10, 17-7. Oh, delay a game. Delay a game. Five yards is going to be added to that field goal range. Uh, for Central State, and that's going to change the whole trajectory of his range. And uh, I think they're going to end up in elective punt it off, guys. I, I think so, Frank. Um, and uh, the same guy, guy the, the same punter, place. The punter like, is a place kicker, <laughs> and he, he got a great leg on him too. Um, he's been known to get it inside the ten. And we got uh, Cameron back there, Taylor. That's Karen Taylor back for the Tigers. And Taylor will let it uh, let it roll, and they it rolls they down. Stop it. They stopped it on the one. The, the inch line, actually, Frank. It'll be marked uh, on the one yard line. It'll be first and ten from the Golden Tigers as they, for the first time, face their backs against the wall. Eight thirty-two in the third. Seventeen seven as you score. Golden Tigers out by ten. First and 10 uh, for the Golden Tigers. The ball is on the one-yard line. Ryan Nettles, Hillcrest High School. Down in Evergreen, Alabama. Gets his first start. In for his teammate, injured Bryson Williams. First and 10 for the Tigers. One receiver, Meeks, is going to be split to the far side. And uh, that's going to be fit. Those numbers, number 16, not, not 15. And I think that is going to be Malik Davis. Malik Davis is on the far side, but they're going to call timeout, Golden Tigers. Well, let's pause for commercial break. This is the Tuskegee University Golden Tiger Sports Network. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. Come on. And on the campus of Tuskegee University, eight minutes, 32 seconds in the third, 17-7 is your score. First and 10 for the Tigers and bursting through. And his forward progress will get him back to the line of scrimmage. And uh, Central State was saying they got him in the end zone with the whistle it blown, guys. Yeah, man, got a yard or two on that. Front. Got a yard on that play. It's going to bring up second down and eight. And now split to the far side is 
Mr. Excitement, Antonio Meeks. Here's a play. New quarterback in for the Golden Tigers. Oh, yeah, the first thing, Ron, got out of the woods, and the Golden Tigers will pick up a first down. And in the ball game for the Golden Tigers is Malik Davis. And Davis, this is uh, his opportunity to get a chance to, to get some reps here as he comes in the ball game to replace Ryan Nettles. And you know, oh, Davis yeah, got a couple of Central State players. Marauders down there. Like I say, the, the, the humidity is, is kind of high up here. And so um, definitely getting those legs, leg cramps. And at this time, I want to shout out to my good friend, Roy Evans, and the Black College Network. And there's a story behind that in this game. But 25 years of streaming. And, you know, the Black College Network was streaming football games even before ESPN got into this business. That is outstanding. That's that. Good. Uh, we say thank you to Roy for coming through and um, helping us set on um, our, our scoring and our announcement today and the visual cameras that you have. Let's pause. This is the Tuskegee University Golan Tigers Sports Network. Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. We're back to live action on the campus of Tuskegee University where the Golden Tigers lead the Marauders 17-7. First and 10 for the Golden Tigers. Give. The give goes again to number 23 for the Tigers. Zena Mobile, and Zena picks up yardage for the Tigers. And uh, a little shaking Malik, up on that play. A little shaking up on that play. Malik Davis is coming the ball game, the second quarterback for Coach Aaron James in the game today. And that's one thing that we said earlier, Kendrick and Ken, that uh, Coach James has a stable of outstanding quarterbacks to uh, that gives him a lot of depth offensively. And, you know, Davis came in, um, he started that Clark game uh, last season that um, got that win in the double overtime. So um, he has some experience, so he can lead this offense. That's an outstanding uh, uh, point there, Kendrick. And uh, Golden Tigers uh, will have it first and 10. The ball will be on the seven-yard line, 724, 17-7 is your score. Tuskegee out front by 10. Davis calling the signals for the Tigers. Davis sets up. Wants to throw, has a man open, finds his tight end inside of the 21 yard line. And he oh, is yeah, gonna, baby. he's going to run with authority. And that's going to be number 89 for the Golden Tigers. That's going to be Johnny Gilbert. He's 6'4, 253 pound junior out of McDonough, Georgia, Kendrick and Ken, and certainly ran with a bit of authority on that last play. Yeah, it's sitting at 6'4", 253. That's definitely some power there, Kendrick. Absolutely. I love when we get our big tight ends, you know, involved in the game. Coach Samuel does an outstanding job with his uh, tight end crew. 650 in the third, 17-7. Second down and two from the 22. The give goes again. Chase Sellers on the carry for the Tigers. And Sellers gets it back to the line of scrimmage. 629 in the third. Tuskegee 17. Central State 7. Possession down. Third and two. Ball is marked on the 22. Twin receivers to the far side. One receiver to the near side. Sellers is in the backfield. 
Davis calling the signals from the 22. Malik sets up, wants to throw, oh, yes. goes long. Loves it. Good. It's going to be caught. It's going to be caught. And he's <laughs> going to be pushed out of bounds around the 32-yard line. And, and move, first and down, say, Frank? move the chain, guys. You, first down. Golden Tigers. That's pity. We're gonna have to give him a nickname. We're gonna have to prime time pity. Prime time <laughs> pity. Ready pity. <laughs> Six oh one. Tigers strike. I I love it. That but that was a great throw. Um, led him very well. And prime time pity wouldn't got got up under it. Fifty. Let's get, we'll get that yardage. Here's Malik. Hands it off again. Flag on the play. And moving the ball gingerly down the field is Melball. And there's a penalty on the <laughs> penalty flag on the field that a lot of tempers Kendrick and Ken are beginning to flare up between the Tigers and the Marauders. You know, both of these oh, teams yeah. know what's, what's at stake. You know, going to this new format in the it conference, is. the eight game you yeah. know, schedule. Um, you you lose a conference game, you you're down basically two games. So Absolutely. everybody that's, knows what's at stake. That's a new matrix that's uh, happening. So everybody wants to win, and to lose a conference game is can be devastating uh, for a team. Golden Tigers trying to get the best start since 2016. Five fifty to go in the third. Seventeen seven. The Tigers lead the Marauders by 10. First and 10. First and 20. Ball is on the 31-yard line of Central State. And there's another flag. It looks like delay of game. We're going the wrong direction now. We definitely. Uh... Well, with that exploding pass attack, we need to get it back. <laughs> yes, and that's, that's one of the things that the guys do. They, they, I mean, they, they keep on playing. They keep on playing. You're going to make mistakes, but, you know, as long as you continue to hit, hit that hit that paddle, you're going to hit it. You're gonna hit, First you're gonna and 25, it the ball is on the 46-yard line of the Marauders. Another flag on the field. Oh, he holding Oh, he holding, holding. I'll tell you. They're going to call it back, but he did hold on that play, but that was after the right. flag. Look like he pushed him in the face too. If you get a replay, and that's that going to be off center. Let's watch the replay, guys. We'll come back to it. Five twenty-one in the third. Frank Lee, Ken Woodard, Kendrick Hooks, Tuskegee University Golden Tiger Sports Network. And let me go back and correct something I said earlier. The Black College Sports Network. Roy Evans. Salute to you, sir, 25 years. And they were streaming black college sports before ESPN, a reliable source in black college football, BCSN. Here's a play. Up the gut goes number 29 for the Tigers. That's going to know. That's going to be number 23. That's going to be Malva. He's going to leave the ball game for the Golden Tigers. And Chase Sellers is going to return in to replace him. Malik Davis, Kendrick, you talked about him. He had an exciting game last year. Uh, he's one of those Golden Tiger quarterbacks that's been in rotation. 449, second down and 18. Ball is on the 41-yard line of the Marauders. Here's Malik. Sets up, wants to throw. He is sacked back. Give Dominique Number Davis. zero, great defensive anchor, Dominique Davis, 5'10", 100 and 5'10", uh, junior. He's out of uh, Lenore, Lenore Ryan University. He's out of Atlanta, Georgia, but obviously he's a transfer to Central State. He, he's definitely been a thorn in, in Tuskegee. He's uh, coming from that backside. He, he, he's playing some good ball, been a backside. He's he making his presence known um, and keeping the Marauders in the game. With his, with his penetration. 406 in the third. Third down and 25. Ball is on the 46 yard line of the Marauders. Malik Davis directing the Golden Tiger offense. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Davis calls audible. And timeout. Looks like timeout call by oh, the no, Tigers. Oh, oh, excuse me, uh, the clock. Delay a game. Yes, that is. Dude. And as Kendrick said earlier, the <laughs> clock can certainly be your greatest weapon against you. 
and uh, we'll get those uh, penalties uh, with the stats, hopefully, on those penalties before we leave. Third and long. Ball is now on the 49-yard line. Here's a play. It's a run up the gut. Goes uh, Chase Sellers for the Golden Tigers. That's going to bring up fourth down, and Ryan Duff is going to come in to punt it off. Duff will stand inside of the uh, 37-yard line. Deep back for Central State will be Brandon Brock. And Brock will stand in the vicinity of the 15-yard line. <laughs> Excuse me. Duff will stand on the 35, and Brock will stand on the 15. Here's Duff. Duff gets one off, and uh, Bearcat is called. He'll land <laughs> on the 10-yard line, and he had a lot of penetration, uh, penetration, penetration from that Golden Tiger special special teams on that last play. And the special teams can uh, make a make or break a game for you. And, he, and our special teams been doing some great heads up play. Um, I, I love the discipline that they do have, and they heads up and playing smart ball, not. Uh, just out there running, running around. Great, great, great job on coaching. Two minutes, 57 seconds in the third, 17-7. Golden Tigers by 10. Here's a play. Central State goes with the run again. Um, and they've also put Lewis back in the game. And they have. They moved the ball pretty well with Boone, you know, especially with his legs, but they've made the change back to Lewis. Alec Lewis back in the ball game for the Marauders. Gets it back to the line of scrimmage. First, a second down for Central State. Here's Lewis. Lewis drops back, wants to pass, fires oh. it out. Has a man, it's going to be in and out of the hands incomplete. Hey, hey, lucky you put some height on that one because that our, our linebacker, Malik Moore, about going for a pick six. He had a, had a little vertical on there, tried to get that ball, but the, the quarterback did a great throw, throwing it over his head, lobbing it out. Here's out the about. play. It's a run inside. He bursts through, and he picks up enough for the first down. He'll get inside of the 40, and that's number five, Dina. Yeah. And we've heard a lot of him all day today. Yeah, he's definitely got to have to stop in the fourth quarter. 17-7, a minute, 51. Here's Lewis, drops back. Lewis unloads the football. It's going to be caught inside, and he catches it and falls around the 30 Seven yard line that play good for about 33 yards, and it's good for Central State first down. I believe that definitely was a, a blown coverage because he was over there on the sideline. Free and the free safety had to come um, from inside the hash mark to get to the guy outside the numbers. Definitely should have been uh, that was a miss on um, defense by Lewis us. driving the Marauders down in Golden Tiger territory. Here's Lewis, high snap. Play action, throws it. It's going to be in and out of the hands. Pass was intended for number four, Brandon Rock for Central State, and it's going to be incomplete. Central State with that no huddle. Minute 12 in the third, 17 7 inches score, second down and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line of the Golden Tigers. Lewis. Twin receivers either side. Lewis, play action. Lewis finds a man open. He finds his way down, and he slides down to the 31-yard line, picks up about, well, let's see where they'll mark it, guys. They'll mark it inside of the 34-yard line. That's correct. And they're working that side over there. Five yards on that last play. It's going to be third down and five. Ball is on the 33-yard line. Of the Golden Tigers. Here's Lewis. 20 receivers either side. Lewis drops back, has time, sets up, has a man. He's cut. We definitely that, catches it inside of there. the 23-yard line. He'll pick up a Marauders first down. Let's look at that replay. Definitely um, need somebody covering the flats out there. Great effort by the Marauders offensively, and they've gone back to the air. <clears throat> 16 ticks, clock runs, twin receivers either side. Lewis takes the snap, play action. Lewis looks up, sets Down up, the field, has the a field. man open. He gets inside, and he'll be in. Touchdown, Marauders. Lewis finds a man open we go. for the Marauders. See the replay. 
Michael Lowe. Let's look at that replay. Great, uh, great pass by quarterback Lewis. Found a man open. One of those many weapons that Central State has on, you know, in that wide receiver core. They have a cadre of them. It seemed like quite a few of them was um, blown defense by our by our guys. And oh, they the, Charles the guy too wide open. The tip is up, and it's good, but there's a penalty on the play. Flag on the field. Looks like tempers are flaring there. Both teams are going to the sideline. 17 clock shows 17-14. Four seconds in the third. This ball game is getting to be even more exciting. Absolutely. Like Ken said, you know, earlier, what a physical game, you know, uh, seems like it's going to come down to the wire today. Obviously, it is. And uh, I tell you, this Central State team has come in here with a winning attitude. They struck early, scored first in this contest, and they've been playing consistently since that time. And that pass attack has been awesome for them today. Let's wait the call here. Yeah, definitely they're going to have, have some talk on this secondary because they – That's been ejected for throwing the punch. Okay. Oh, yeah. Been ejected for throwing a punch. Oh, somebody was ejected. I didn't get that name and number. Uh, his microphone uh, did kind of go out for a minute, but we'll try to find out. It's going to be assessed against the Tigers. No, it's going to be assessed against I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, baffled on what he basically – who threw the punch? Who I threw the – did, did you get that, Kendrick, who no, threw that punch? I was, I was His microphone is obviously going to be against Central State. Well, well no, no, they're going to – they're going to no, they're gonna change things up now. <laughs> I tell you, this, uh, that's going to be a mystery call. It's against Tuskegee. It's going to be against – that's what I was thinking at first. But the way Central State was lined up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who was, who was ejected? Four point six seconds in the third. Seventeen fourteen is your score. Golden Tigers hold on to a three point advantage. Here's the kickoff. It's going to go in the end zone. It'll be first and ten from the twenty five for the Golden Tigers. Give us an update on that last call. That, that was number fifty five, Lance Watkins. Okay. Um, D lineman, you know, down there in the trenches, got a little, got a little frustrated. Old lineman probably got him, got him real, got up and real good. Got his hands on him, you know. No D lineman don't like that. And I, I think he took a swing, and it, I heard the referee. If I'm correct, it, he ejected him. Punch. Yeah, he ejected him from the game for throwing a punch. Yeah, and that's that's um, it's, it, you you, you kind of want to four point six seconds in the third. 17-14 is your score. Golden Tigers up by three. Golden Tigers will send back in Malik Davis to call the signals. First and 10 from the 25-yard line. Davis trips to the near side, flips it out again. Little screen pass to number seven, Karon Taylor for the Tigers. And uh, at the end of the third quarter, Tuskegee 17, Central State 14. Let's pause on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean. Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them. It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, cream bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? 
At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interest and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. We're back to live action on the campus of Tuskegee University where the Golden Tigers have a three-point edge over the Central State Marauders. Second down and 11. The ball is on the Tuskegee 25-yard line. Malik Davis has twin receivers either side. Sellers is the back. Here's Davis. Davis sets up. Has time, turns it up, calls his own number, and he <laughs> slides shy of a first down. Going to slide guys inside of the 33-yard line. Going to pick up about seven yards on that play. Look left, look right. There's nothing there. Take, tuck it and run. Great job, great heads-up play. Well, that's going to be marked on the 30-yard line. Got to make something happen, and he, he made something happen. Made a um, great coverage by Central State, but great um, adjustment. Five yard Malik gain, Davis. as Davis calls his own number. Twin receivers either side. Is Davis calling the signals? Davis sets up, has time, eludes one, two, three, oh, pushes good. it out. Davis has a man on a shuffle path. He'll pick up a first down and more. And that play <laughs> ends up uh, around the forty-two yard line of the Marauders. Let's look at that great play. Kendrick, what's you call? What you call his name? Prime Time Petty. Prime Time Petty, outstanding, yeah. And, and great heads up by Malik Davis again. He brought, he brought them guys near to him, and they pitched it on out there. Nice little shuttle pass. That's that's heads up. That's playing four four the football. You playing from the neck up, not the neck down as well. Davis read that defensive well and made that decision. Here's the play. Trips to the near side. One receiver to the far side. Malik calling the signals. Davis drops back, sets up. Malik turns it up and may pick up about a yard, maybe lose a yard on that play. We'll see where the spot is, but that's okay. That's second down, and Davis. He'll get it back. Uh, second down, he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage. And, and this is what you want. This fourth quarter football. This is uh, hey, this is prime S I C S I A C football at its finest. Fourth quarter teams going to the next level, playing hard, playing consistent. We love it. He lost four yards on that play. Spring up second down and fourteen. It's going to be marked on the forty-six yard line. Twin re trips to the near side. One receiver to the far side. Here's Davis. Davis sets up, wants to throw. Here's Malik. And nobody home, guys. Yeah. He threw it to an empty doormat on that play. Yes, indeed. I mean, it was a way, I guess, to get rid of it because he, he, it was definitely on uh, coverage. It was good coverage by Central State. No, they're de definitely not laying down. Third down and 14. The ball is on the 46-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Malik Davis. Trips to the near side. One receiver split to the far side. Davis, <laughs> the third quarterback, the second quarterback in for the Tigers. Here's Malik. Malik sets up, wants to throw, turns it up, throws on oh, the run, yes. and it's caught inside of the 30, gets inside of the 20, <laughs> he gets inside of the 10, and he's going to drag a couple Marauders down to the eight yard line first. Down, Golden Tigers, move the chains. Move the chains, Frank. And that's definitely uh, uh, the offense we hadn't seen yet. Trips, was that Trips, Kendrick? That was yeah. Trips. That, we had, we hadn't seen tight. before that formation. That's what you talk about. You got an arsenal of things to do in an arsenal of plays that they hadn't seen yet, and they was, definitely wasn't prepared for that one. 38 yards on that last play, 12-03, 17-14. Here's your score. Golden Tiger, first down, moves it down. To the 11 yard line. Here's Malik. Trips to the near side. Here's the play. Gives it up to Gun. And Malik calls his own number. And he's still on his feet. And he says he wasn't uh -oh. down. What did the official say? If, 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 if his knee didn't go down and he 
fell on the guy. Well, re replay doesn't close. count well, let's, what, let's, let's look see at it and see. You all give me your oh. assessment. Well, we don't have instant replay in the SIEC, but uh, we'll see. He wasn't there. We go again. We go. And we going, you know, a couple of conferences in, the, in Division Two have implemented uh, replay this uh, this season. Um, so hopefully the SIC is uh, next on that list. He obviously was not down, but they'll have another opportunity. Here they go. They're showing. The, Look at the replay again. Oh, okay, he, he number zero. He fell on. He fell on zero. So his body did not hit the ground. Well, it's going to stand. Gonna the field go. rule stands. Second down and ten. No discussion. Because there's no replay, guys. Touche. Very, very well. Second stated. and thirteen. Here's the play. Here's Malik. He gets sacked. Loses the ball. Malik loses the ball. My goodness. It's going to be a foot race to the fifty, to the forty, to the thirty, to the twenty, to the ten. The Marauders will they score. Touchdown, Central State on a fumble. Central State is back in this ball game as a bad exchange forced to fumble. Let's look at the replay. That turnover gives Central State a three-point edge and maybe a four <laughs> after this field goal. And that big guy ran with all of his might <laughs> and scored. They got a 27 ball game. And here's the PAT. Mm -hmm. They can be up by four. Here's a, here's a PAT. It's up. There's a flag, though. It's good. There's a flag. Central State on that turnover takes the lead for the – for the first time since the first quarter over the Golden Tigers. 2017 is your score, and there's a flag on that PAT, and we'll wait the outcome. And that was Mike White on that scoop and score. Scoop and score. And it, how many yards was that, Kendrick? It's going to reply. The, the PAT is going to be retried. 2017 is your score. 1047 in the ball game. Jose Charles Charles will um, try the PAT for Central State. There's one thing that's true though. Whatever a team do to you in the first on it's the good. Play, you can do it to them. The PAT is good with 1047. Central State takes the lead, 21-17. And uh, just like that, that turnover gave Central State somewhat of a surge. With 10-47, they lead the contest, 21-17, guys. Yeah, Central State has been able to, you know, to capitalize on our mistakes. I go back to those two uh, turnovers that we didn't capitalize on, you know, early in the first half, but... The Golden Tigers have proven that they can move the ball, so I'm looking for Davis to come back out and put a drive together. Kevin Porter moved from Fort Valley State to Central State. It's in his first year at Central State, and he and Coach Aaron James are meeting for the first time in this contest. 10-47, 21-17 is your score, and the Marauders will kick it off to the Golden Tigers. And deep for the Golden Tigers are Michael King, Karon Taylor, and Grantis Poole. And I, I wouldn't want to kick it to neither one of those guys. All those guys can break from the Here's a kick. And let me see where they go It's going to gonna be taken around the, the 5, the 10, the 15, the 20. Cut it. Of steps, gets inside, and he... Moves it to the 25-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Malik Davis and company. We got a few scores around the conference. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, give Albany, me some of those scores, Kendrick. We got Albany State, 17-7 over Morehouse. And we have Benedict College over Lane, 26-7 at halftime. Thank you very much for those SIAC scores. Well, back here in Tuskegee, Alabama, it's Hall of Fame weekend. And Central State has taken advantage of a Golden Tiger turnover. We had a scoop and score. And now we got a 21-17 ball game with 10 minutes and 40 seconds. And 
Golden Tigers have it first and 10 for the 21-yard line. There Here's go, baby. Davis. Has a man open. It's going to be caught for a first down. <laughs> hey, well, I'm talking. Inside of the 38-yard line. And just like that, Golden Tigers pick up a first down. Now, I, I call that, that's, that's my heads up football. And that was ready petty. Did, they didn't go left, didn't go right, just went, went over him. Let him know that he's the man. He's out there to play football. Here's a play. First and 10 from the 27th. Way to give Malik a good Davis. Leg. Twin receivers to the near side, twin to the far side. Davis sets up, wants to throw, has time. Oh, okay. Good call, good call. Interference call. The intended receivers was Meeks. And that's going to be good for another Golden Tiger first down. Antonio Meeks was the intended receiver. Malik Davis had sights on him. And the Marauders are going to be uh, faced with another interference call. 21-17, 10 minutes and 11 seconds. Frank Lee, Ken Woodard, and Kendrick Cooks. First and 10. Pass interference, and that culprit was number six, Zay Morrison for Central State. Great break for the Golden Tigers, guys. Move to James. 10 minutes, 11 seconds. It's Hall of Fame weekend. Tigers, who had a pretty comfortable lead, but that scoop and score gave the Marauders seven. They hit the ball game 21-17 with 10 minutes and 11 seconds in this ball game. Hall of Fame weekend. We want to just uh, salute all the Hall of Fame inductees. You heard uh, from one here uh, during halftime. Irvin Smith, who's a product of Tuskegee Institute High School. He and Reginald Harrison were the tag team linebackers from Tuskegee, Alabama. Local talent and former Golden Tigers. My crew, Frank. My crew. First and <laughs> 10 for Malik Davis and company. Got to make something happen. Ball is on the 48-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Davis has twin receivers either side. And uh, we'll see the officials were making some uh, commentary on the sideline. They're deliberating, and we'll see the outcome. They're going to give us some. They're going to come over and talk with Coach Kevin Porter. And while they're doing that, let's take a break on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Tamika Hampton, Esquire, 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida. 407-494-1471. THamptonLaw.com. Nope. Nope. You want him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High-quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile. Back to live action. 17 21, 7 21, 17. Here's Malik, throws long, has a man open. It's to Meeks. And it's broken up with no flag around the eight yard line. And they were double covering Meeks, guys. And that's a little difficulty, but I tell you, Meeks tried to pull it down even under double coverage. Yeah, I think the, you know, the news is out about Meeks. You know, I think, you know, defense coordinators all over the, that we're going to face this year, they're going to make sure that they say, you're going to be us with somebody else with Meeks. <laughs> <laughs> Two men on him. Second down and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Malik Davis come, coming in the ball game to relieve Ryan Nettles. Had receivers. Twin to, to the near side. Twin to the far side. Second down and 10. Malik drops back, has time. Davis eludes one, runs it up, turns it up, picks up a first down and more. <laughs> Calls his enough. own number, drives it down to the 31-yard line. 17-yard scamper by Malik Davis, picks up a Golden Tiger first down. 
great decision by the offensive tackle, that right off central tackle. Did not Here's a play, play, first and ten, trips left. Malik shows, finds, finds a man open. Here's Meeks, will he get inside? Antonio Meeks, he'll score! <laughs> Touchdown, Tuskegee Golden Tigers. Strike again. Showtime Meeks saves the day. I tell you, what a play. Malik Davis, a textbook pass to Showtime Antonio Meeks. Got a new ball game, 23-21, your score. Lokan Ryan's in to do the PAT for the Golden Tigers. We didn't. We got Andrew here to play replay. Ryan's. Let's look at that replay. Sweet feet meets. <laughs> that, that he reached out there. He's sending himself a little bit, and he's over on the sideline right now. Yeah, um, let's. Yeah, he's. Uh, hopefully, he just had the wind knocked out of him because he he, he he fully extended himself to get to that end zone. Sacrificed his body on that last catch. He's an integral part on that Aaron James air attack. He's going to walk off with the training core. Golan Tigers captivate a lead. Still a lot of time in the ball game. 23-21 your score. The young man wears number 45. Lorcan Ryan's in for the PAT. Ryan splits them. It's good. 24-21, your score. And one significant thing about it, Ryan's is sure in that place kicking department. He's uh, come across the country to kick for the Tigers from Ireland. And uh, he was uh, special teams player of the week last week, Kendrick. Yeah, actually got in um, on a on a uh, a tackle last week. He did. Yeah, yes. I saw it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ali says two tackles. <laughs> Nine thirty in the ball game. Twenty four twenty one. You score. The same man that kicked the PAT, that kicked the field goal. Lorcan Ryan lines up the tee. He'll kick it off to the Marauders. Golden Tigers on an Antonio Meek catch from Malik Davis. Take the lead, 24-21, 9.30 in the ball game. It's Hall of Fame weekend here on the campus of Tuskegee University. Here's Ryans. He kicks it off. Ryans take it inside of the 10 to 15, crosses the 20, and he's going to be broken down around the 24-yard line by a host of crimson jerseys. I'm looking for that Golden Tiger defense to come back out, and, you know, and really clamp down on this Central State um, offense right here. They have that extra momentum surge here, guys. And still a lot of time in the ball game with nine minutes and 24 seconds. Tigers lead it 24-21. First and ten for the Marauders from their own 35-yard line. Alec Lewis. Back in the ball game has receivers, twin receivers either side from the 24-yard line. Here's Lewis. Lewis, play action. Lewis sets up. What's the throw? Oh, it's, yeah. intercepted. it's intercepted. It's, that- it's intercepted. Michael King. Homeboy makes Michael good. King intercepts it for the Golden Tigers, and we said it. And he's here to represent it. The sophomore out of Booker T. Washington High School. Makes a big interception for the Golden Tigers. Here you go. Someone said it. He, he ran the route better than he did. It. Way He's run a that converted route. wide receiver. Been playing defensive back just for a few weeks, and that tells you about his athletic ability. Local talent. Michael King you got makes the hometown crowd proud. You got to love that, that close-in speed. That, that, you see that in Deion Sanders. You see some, some of the other receivers and, and secondary and cornerbacks. They got they, When that ball get in the air, they hit another gear. First and 10 from the 24-yard line of the Marauders. Here's Malik. Gives it up to gut. He dances through. And looks like we had a whistle blown on that play. Blown whistle. 
Aaron, da Aaron James steps out. Barks orders to Malik Davis. And it looks like a procedure call. Five yards are going to be assessed against the Golden Tigers. That'll move it back. They'll mark the ball on the, let's see what the official mark will be, guys. Looks like it's going to be on the 29-yard 29. 29 line. Here's Malik Davis. Play action. Has it oh, all. Yes. Spin move, number 21 for the Golden Tigers. Chase Sellers, 5'9", 180-pounder out of Lawrenceville, Georgia, a product of Archer High School for the Golden Tigers. 9.03, clocks runs, 20. 21 goal, ball game. Kendrick and Ken can't say enough about that interception at that particular time in the ball game. Right. You know, defense keeps coming up, you know, big for us over and over again in this game. So we love it. You know, a lot of times you love it when, uh, when, it, when the play comes your way. You want to be the guy to be the hero and uh, you can take care of it. Second down and 12. Ball on the 26th of the Marauders. Malik Davis gives it up to Gut. Chase Sellers, the ball carrier for the Tigers. Sellers picks up a couple on that play. We'll probably get it inside. They'll mark it. Looks like on the 20, 24 yard line, two yard gain for the Tigers. 808 in this Hall of Fame weekend contest. Tuskegee 24, Central State 21. Here's Malik Davis. Has twin receivers to the near side. Here's Davis. Fumble on the play. Davis falls on the ball. <laughs> yeah, we were lucky they were getting Got to protect that ball. Yeah. You know, Davis' timing uh, is getting in sync. First time that uh, got a chance to get in the ball game today. <laughs> Replace Ryan Nettles. He'll get it together. He's a playmaker. He's been a playmaker. He's been eluding a lot of penetration now because the Central State Marauders front five has become front four been coming at him real strong. And he had to elude a couple of times. He did a couple of shuttle passes, a couple of underneath passes to get out there and had to tuck, look left, look right, tuck and go. You know, he's he, he, he doing all the things to keep keep that ball moving. And sometimes things play is going to happen. It doesn't go your way. They're going to make some decisions. They're going to call timeout. And we're going to take a break on the Tuskegee University Golden Tiger. Sports Network. Professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. The We're back to live action on the campus of Tuskegee University. It's Hall of Fame weekend, and a popular name from last week, Lorcan Ryans, will be in to do the field goal attempt for the Golden Tigers. He's 5'9", 210 pounder, out of Hospital County, Limerick, Ireland. And there's a flag on the field. Well, hopefully be off size. Look, look like he jumped the gun. That was that was a nice uh, kickstart by that Central State coming off that backside. But it's it might gonna, be looks like it's going to be assessed against the uh, – we'll see before we give any preliminary indications. 7 right. 2 in the contest, 24-21 your score. Saving. Tuskegee out front. And there you go. That's it. By three. Uh, Frank, that guy came off that kind of quick. Uh, you know, that was close. That, he – he jumped the gun just a little bit. It's going to give Ryan a little bit more insurance. Ryan. Ryan's has been uh, outstanding 
in this in his freshman year. Hit, oh, he did it again. Here's a PAT. It's up. And another flag. So that was number 20. I, I believe it was number 20 again. Let's see. Yeah. He's getting closer and he's closer. Jumping the, he's jumping the gun. He's... That's a mental error. Mental error there, Ken and, and Kendrick. Absolutely. And at a time like this. There you go. With 6.57 to go in the ball game, Those mental errors can make a difference. That's the difference between um, winners and losers. And that gives us a first down. And just like that, it should be no, a no, first it's, down. It's not see. a first down. It's, it's still... close. <laughs> Five yards short. Five yards shy. Mm -hmm. Now watch 20 come off there again. Isn't it? He'll take it again. Golden Tigers will take it again, kid. Here's Ryan. The P Phil Golden's up. That's good. That's good. There you go. Tigers take a 27 21 lead on the foot of the freshman, Nelson Ryan, who's been a history maker and certainly been a very productive member of this Golden Tiger football team, guys. Jonah Little, number 20, was the guy that was called twice. twice. With, um, jumping off sides there. He was trying to uh, read the count. You know, and sometimes you get in trouble trying to read that count, that jump. It, it, you know, it, it can go either way, but it went wrong for the Central State Marauders. But we'll, we'll send them a Christmas card, Frank. Still a lot of time, guys, in the ball game. 653 in the contest. 27 21 is your score. Off the foot of Nelson Ryan's a field goal. Puts the Golden Tigers up by six. And the same young man that kicked that field goal lines the tee. He'll kick it off for the Golden Tigers. Central State has two men deep to take this Nelson Ryan kick. Here's a kick. It's going to be taken inside of the, the 15, the 20. Got him. And batted down and broken down. Around the 18-yard line, give special teams their due, guys. You, you, you can tell them right now. He tried to get to that wedge, and the guy come backside, laid it out, and got made a great play on special teams. Definitely. We've seen, you know, great special teams play out of the Golden Tigers today. Um, I always say that's one of the underrated weapons, you know, when you have good special team play. You can definitely win ball games. 649 in the ball game. 27-21, your score. The Marauders have it first and 10 from the 20-yard line. And that same young man. You know they're going Lewis with the air attack. I'm with as twin Kendrick. receivers either side. Lewis from the 20. Lewis gives it up to gut. He finds a way through, That's gets it to there. the 31-yard line. They'll pick up 11 yards on that play and a first down. Don't count them out. Kelvin Porter's Marauders are still scratching against these Tigers. 629 clock runs. First okay, and 10 drift. from the 31-yard line of the Marauders. Lewis drops back, what sets you doing? up. What you doing? Lewis wants to throw, has a man open. It's going to be off the fingertips. No no flag. Great defensive effort by the Golden Tigers. Number 34. And he's not on the roster. We'll find out who he is. Got to get an updated roster here. Got a few number changes. But a we'll great play by 34. Bursting run, he goes through, gets through, picks up a first down and more. It's a foot race. He'll be pushed out of bounds around the 22-yard line. And just like that, the Marauders come back with another offensive oh, we attack. We got a flag, guys, around the 36-yard line. Flag on the field. It may come back. It may be coming back. We'll see. Officials are deliberating. Let's see what they'll call. They pick up the flag, and let's see what the outcome is going to be. 6 7 Here we go. In the ball game, flag on the field. Let's wait the personal file against two. We'll see. Personal foul against the Golden Tigers. That'll bring the we did Marauders the number down one, deep Frank. in Golden Tiger territory. That's going to bring the ball down. They'll mark it inside of the 12-yard line. Marauders have it first and 10. Here's a play. It's spin move, and it gets inside. He's going to be pushed out of bounds, and 
He's going to be forced out around the seven. It's going to be around the six, seven yard line. Injured, injured Marada on the field. And let's pause. This is the Tuskegee University Golden Tigers Sports Network. Uve Group is a Florida based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, my colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell leadership principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today. Tiz Davis, he sweeps it up, fires it in, and he will get down to the four yard line. It's number 34, Central State. Zay Price gets it in. Here's a play. And the Golden Tigers hold them at the goal line. Great defensive effort. That goal line defense holds for the Golden Tigers. We, well, we've been here before with the goal line defense. Um, but Fort Valley, I remember that, that great it, great play by the defense. Ben, but fourth, don't break. Fourth and goal for Central State. Fourth and goal, very crucial play. And the Marauders are going to go for it. Yeah, and here's baby. a test. They've been down here before. Timeout call by the Tigers. And we're paused on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Don't delay. Call Cuvay. Tune in to the Carlos Brown Show exclusively on the Black College Sports Network. T. Madden and Associates is a sophisticated and experienced law firm located in your neighborhood. We're turning injury to cash. T. Madden and Associates obtained almost $2 million for my injury. They turned my injury to cash. Now, we can't guarantee how much your injury is worth, but we've recovered millions for our clients. Call T. Madden and Associates at 833-PAID-123. That's 833-PAID-123. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile phones. We're back to live action. Fourth and goal for the Marauders. Just like a riverboat gambler, they're going to go for it here. And let's see what the Golden Tigers will do to defend it. Watch Here's a crucial slide. play in the ball game. And uh, he won't get it, guys. He won't get it. Golden <laughs> Tigers will take it over. Big stop by that the goal line. line defense of the Golden Tigers has made a break in this ball game. Once again, that defense just keeps coming up over and over again for us in this ball game. Offense scores, defense makes plays, and that's certainly defense what has happened Chester in this ball game. <laughs> Hey, you know, partial that defense win. We win championships. <laughs> defense wins championships. Defense will win games, and now the Golden Tigers are going to have to maintain. They take it over first and ten from the three yard line, their own three yard line, with four minutes and fifty seconds. Control offense carefully. Malik Davis stands in the end zone for the Tigers. Here's Davis, gives it up, finds a man, finds a crease. They move it out to the 10-yard line, maybe to the 11. We love it. Johnny Morris. Johnny fresh Morris. Legs in there. Get some fresh legs in there. 444. Clock shows triple four. 440 in the ball game. Johnny Morris gets the Golden Tigers from against the wall. From Spanish Fort, Alabama. Second down and three for Malik Davis and company. Davis, the signal caller for the Tigers. 
Second and three. Ball is on the 10-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Here's Malik carefully, methodically calling a play for the Tigers. Second down and, and three. Davis on a long count calls audible. Study in the defense. Thinking carefully the call. Here's Davis. Gives it up to Gut again. To Morris. And Morris again gets it to the 15-yard line. He'll pick up five for the Golden Tigers. Good, good fresh legs out there. First down, move the chains, guys. 343, control offense, methodical offense, careful offense. It's what Malik Davis is driving for the Tigers, taking advantage of every second on the clock. Coach Aaron James in his debut at home, his Golden Tigers lead the contest. 27 21, 3 21 on the ball game. Here's Davis. Davis gives it up, gives it to Morris. Morris picks up another two yards. Bulldozes his way down. He crosses the 16 yard line. Three minutes and nine seconds in the ball game. Tigers lead it 27 21. And one of the things on that last first down with the new rule change, you know, especially about the clock not stopping. Right. You know, when, you're on right. The, when you're on the winning side, you know, you're it's to your advantage. To your advantage. Carefully managing the clock, Aaron James and his offensive coaching staff sending signals to Malik Davis. And Davis has been a hero before at the same type of predicament. Second down and nine. Ball is on the 15-yard line. Here's Davis. Gives it to Morris. Morris turns the corner, finds a crease, and he'll get it back. Crosses over. He may get a yard on that play, but he... Maintain possession, holding the ball, carefully maneuvering this Golden Tiger offense. They're calling timeout. We'll take a timeout on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Bring changes to the world of education. It's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, visit us today to take charge of your learning. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowerment J-A-X. We're back live at Cleveland L. Albert Memorial Stadium. Hall of Fame weekend. Tigers lead it 27-21, 2-26 in the ball game. Here's Malik Davis, and Davis dives down, and the ball is dead. <laughs> Forget about it. The ball is dead. Two minutes and 15 seconds to go in the contest. Tigers have a 27-21 league over the Marauders. Time out. Let's pause on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. You want him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice... We're back 
to live action at Cleveland L. Abbott Memorial Stadium Hall of Fame weekend here at Tuskegee University. The Tigers lead the Marauders 27-21 with 2-12 as Ryan Duff puts a foot in it. It takes a Golden Tiger roll. It'll be down on the 39-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Central State on the 39-yard line. Well, guys, it's been a, a well-fought ball game by both teams. It's been no way uh, an unbalanced match. It's been nip and tuck as the Tigers and the Marauders do battle here in the first season opener here at Cleveland L. Albert Memorial Stadium. And it's a historic game here, the first game under the new artificial turf and all of the upgrades. Uh, thanks to coach, uh, former coach and A.D. Reginald Ruffin and the entire Golden Tiger athletic staff. 2-0-3 in the ball game. Here's the play. Sets up, wants to throw, has a man open. Broken up oh, and almost oh, caught. Oh, yeah. Broken yeah. up and almost caught by number 49 for the Golden Tigers and great defensive Golden effort. Those Golden Boys almost came up with another one right they there. They sure did. It, pick six. Noah man. Holton on that uh, breakup on that play. 157 in the contest. Second down and 10. Ball is on the 40-yard line of the Marauders. Here's the play. Harris calling the signals. Send gets the pressure. Kitchen, they sent, brought and, the and the Golden Tigers break it down. And he breaks it loose. And I tell you, give him credit. Oh. First, second, and third effort. Number five. Don't take anything yeah, away from him, guys. Let's count the um, What's that? One. Two, no huddle. Here we go. Three. Let's talk about it. Let's we'll watch it. They clock it. Here's the play. Sets up. Has time. He catches it. Stops the clock. And the Marauders are not giving up at all, guys. They're giving it all they have. Got an injured Golden Tiger on the field. Looks like a cramp. Thirty-one. Number thirty-one for the Golden Tigers. Anthony Scott. He's a defensive lineman. He's injured on the play, and while they're attending to his injury, we'll watch the replay. One, two, three, four. I tell you what, these Marauders are are not giving up against the Golden Tigers, and give him first, second, and third effort by the Marauders, and uh, we'll tell you who that was. But let's pause. This is the Golden Tigers Sports Network. To aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean? Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them. It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? Anthony Scott is helped off by the Golden Tiger training staff. He gets a uh, help uh, from Macon County Sheriff and Coach Andre Bronson helps him off the field. He's one of the defensive linemen. Here's a play. Second down and four. His Lewis, he sets up, wants to throw, runs in traffic. He's going to be brought down, calls his own number, couldn't find anybody free, and he's brought down around the um, 40. Let's see, well, let's see where he is. They're going to mark it inside of the 45. The 35, rather, excuse me, 35. Here, here's a play. There we go. And nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. 
Give that Noah defense. Holden. Give that defense a shout out, guys. I like when Noah Holden come across that backside. Great wrap up, kept his feet moving. You know, number five and keeping Dean has been keeping his feet moving every time he breaking tackles. Noah out now did him on the feet job, wrapped him up, kept his hands on him, kept his eyes open, head up, made a great linebacker play. 68 seconds in this ball game, and it's been an exciting one. By no means a pushover. Central State has traveled almost 10 plus hours, guys, and they came to play. 108, it's not over, but the Golden Tigers have a six point edge. 27 21 is your score. And uh, we'll see what the Marauders are going to do. Looks like they're going to go for it. Why not? What do you have to lose, guys? It's their last effort. Go for broke. Coach yeah. Kevin yeah. Porter has elected to roll the dice with a minute eight to go in the ball game, and you really can't blame him. you got to go for broke when you want to win. And that new rule uh, that Kendrick talked about earlier is uh, has a great deal to do with this. Here's a play, fourth and five for the Marauders. Golden Tigers set up, want to throw, and they go oh, incomplete. They'll turn it over to the Tigers. Low and in the dirt. Tuskegee University will take possession of the football with 64 ticks left on the clock, a minute and four seconds. It's Hall of Fame weekend on the historic campus of Tuskegee University. Frank Lee, along with Ken Woodard and Kendrick Hooks, bringing you the best in Golden Tiger football on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Marching Crimson Piper Band. It's always prolific. And Malik will just take a knee. And the clock will just gingerly run down. My favorite formation to see for the Golden Tigers. <laughs> I tell you what, Kendrick, it's mine too. And I tell you, we've had an up and down ball game. It's been exciting. And uh, 45 seconds remain. Clock still runs. Coach Aaron James is in for the best record here on the campus of Tuskegee University since 2016. Win number three is 25 seconds away. That Clock be the continues to run. They're in that victory formation. That will be the last play there, Frank. It is. Coach Kevin Porter. And Coach Aaron James will greet each other around the 50-yard line. Final score from Cleveland, L. Albert Memorial Stadium, Tuskegee 27, Central State 21. We'll come back after these commercial messages on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. That comes with food at Tuskegee, Nucor being one of those companies that came. I was first introduced to Nucor the beginning of my sophomore year at the career fair. I had two fellow classmates that had interned with them the previous summer. Um, they introduced me to Nucor. I talked with them, gave them my resume, and told them why I wanted to work with them, told them all the good things that they had told me about working with Nucor, um, including the commitment to safety and just them being able to be themselves and actually having hands-on opportunities of, while being interns and not just you know running errands or just doing desk work. Um, so when I met them, talked to them, they gave me an interview for the following day, and they also invited me to dinner that night. My initial interaction with Nucor is honestly one I'll never forget. That presentation really stuck out to me that summer more than any other presentation from any other company. And that was because Nucor was just so genuine with their approach. I remember they started off the conversation by asking all of us freshman students to just throw out different things that we look for in a company. Of course, we all said we wanted to make money. We wanted a company where we could move up. We wanted a company that was gonna care about us. We wanted a company that we could go to work and love what we do every day. We wanted flexibility. We wanted all these different things and even things we didn't think about like being environmental stewards. And upon throwing out all those things, the different Nucor recruiters that came gave us concrete examples of how Nucor illustrated all those in the company that they were. And that really kind of stuck with me and sold me. Being honest, I was very nervous and cause I know how typical corporate dinners usually go. 
So I, when I go there, I'm kind of uptight. I'm not really saying anything. I'm just kind of quiet. And they reassured me while I was there that they didn't really didn't want to hear anything about work. They just wanted to get to know me as a person. They just wanted to know Amos Landrum. My education is well worth anybody's while, but to sort of get that, you know, physically in the form of a scholarship that not only pays for part of your college, but all of it is sort of very rewarding and it makes me want to strive so much harder to live up to that scholarship that was given to me. It was fall of my sophomore year and my parents told me that they could not afford to attend here. I had loans piling up and my parents said, you can either just not be in school or you can come to Texas and go to a school back at home. And I just knew that I was deserving of being here. I had a 4.0 GPA. I was an eminent scholar and I knew that God put me here for a reason. And so I started sharing my story and just advocating for why I deserve to be here. And scholarship started falling in my lap and I became an RA. Up here from Cleveland, L. Abbott Memorial Stadium get a chance to look at some of those highlights of the game today. And it's been a thriller in uh, Tuskegee, Alabama. It's the Golden Tigers uh, face the Marauders of Central State. And final score is 27-21. Kendrick, uh, give us some of those stats uh, from today's game. There were some outstanding ones. And give us a wrap-up on the stats for today's game. Yeah, so it was an exciting game. Uh, first downs, we have Central State 18, Tuskegee 20. Um, and 32 rushing attempts, uh, Central State was able to rack up 178 yards on the ground to Tuskegee for the attempt uh, with 57 yards on the ground. Um, in the passing game, um, Central State went 18 for 31 for 239. Tuskegee went 20 out of for 37 for 384. Uh, total yards, 417 for Central State, 441 for uh, the Golden Tigers. Well, wouldn't you say, Kendrick, that it was a well-balanced game today, but Kent Central State, a lot of people figured after that loss last week to Dayton that they were going to come in here and be pushed over, but they proved that they are a very competitive football team, and it was an exciting win today for the Golden Tigers. Yeah, you know, it's like I said, you know, in the beginning of the broadcast, um, I knew that they could move the ball through the air, um, and they definitely proved that today, and they also proved that they could um, establish a little bit of a running game. Um, here today. So with 178 yards, uh, that's more than they, you know, got um, in the other two games. So um, I think that turnover is what really doomed them. Um, those that pick six, you know, really, you know, doomed them. So uh, we look at the Golden Tigers. They came out fighting. Um, they didn't give up. You know, we played two quarterbacks today, two able quarterbacks. And, uh, and like I said, Davis already had um, game experience in Clark in a tight game. So he really came through big for us today. Kendrick, talk a little bit about that new rule. You mentioned it earlier in the SIC about that rule, losing a game as far as conference ratings. Tell our listeners and our viewers about that. So, you know, we've gone away from the um, East and West divisions that uh, we were since about what, 2012, um, and we've gone to an eight-game man mandate. So um, each team plays eight conference games. Um, in the, um, it's like a four-on, four-off type of deal. And so this game is actually um, a conference game for both teams. Um, and um, if you get behind, it's just like the old days. You know, you don't want to lose one because it's basically you got need two teams to beat that team. And so when you have a good team like Tuskegee, and this is a great team for Central State. Absolutely. You know? So, I mean, I, I look for them to, hey, maybe down the, down the line, they might still be in the hunt for it. Coach Kevin Porter, who left Fort Valley State, he was a Wildcat last year. Now he's a Marauder. Brought an exciting football team, put a good product on the field today against the Golden Tigers. Ken Woodard, your assessment of the game here today against the Marauders of Central State. I like I agree with concur with what Kendrick said now. You Frank, um, we've seen some good SIC football. You know, this conference we doesn't get the pub as much, but you you got two great teams out here that was giving it all, and I seen 60 minutes of exciting football. We had a pick for six by Skiggy, and we had a scoop and score by Central State Marauders. We had uh, great coverage on penalties. We had heads up. We see mental, mental guys make mental decisions to keep the drive alive. And, and some second and third effort on both sides of the ball to break tackles. 
get downfield and try to make something out of out of bad play turn into a good play. And now this is just indicative of the SIC and and the mentality and the type of ball. This being the Hall of Fame game, this, we had a Hall of Fame game. This this this, this was definitely worth the bang in the buck. And um, Central Station look look up because they they put the best foot forward, and it it, 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 was, it was it's a play. They were just a play away. And I think I I might see we like you said Kendrick. We we probably will see them down the road because uh, they definitely gonna be a force to record with. Because I think they learned something today on how to win. But but what Coach James has been doing and Ruffin started implementing last year is how to win in the fourth quarter. We had some defensive fronts. We had some stands. That number five, Dino, was running crazy all day. Certainly but was. when it was time for him to win the game with it, we put the de- linebackers on it. And that's why t- linebackers win championships. Final score okay. from Tuskegee, Alabama. Tuskegee University, 27. Central State, 21. want to thank a few people who are part of this broadcast. want to thank President Charlotte Morris, the president of Tuskegee University, Athletic Director Reginald Ruffin. Uh, Chief Operating Officer, Dr. Rolandus Rice. We want to thank the staff of the Black College Sports Network, Mr. Roy Evans. On camera, Kim Wright. Uh, on camera, Jamal Jackson. We want to thank everyone, Ken Woodard, Kendrick Hooks. We thank you for being a part of this debut for Coach Aaron James on the cab on behalf of the Tuskegee University Department of Athletics. I'm Frank Lee. Our time is up. And we thank you for yours. Not righty.